Los Angeles, y'all ready to get this started? Yeah! We started this season off with 12 of the best teams in the world with a quest of finding one. It was a journey starting in the south in Texas, going up north to Minnesota, across the border to Toronto, to the Big Apple in New York, and now the coast. We're in Los Angeles, the city of champions, the city of angels, where we're gonna crown one to hoist this trophy dripped in black that only legends can hold. It's time to start your Call of Duty League Championship and coming to the stage first. Here they come. It's your 2021 Call of Duty Champions. We got it! 
Here we go, Galen Center. It is finally time to get our main event underway. Boy, it has been a long and arduous year. We have had some bumps in the road, a hell of a lot of turbulence to get here. But now we find ourselves in one final series. And the two finest teams in the league going toe to toe for $1.2 million championship rings and that trophy on stage. I cannot wait to get this underway. My name is Miles Ross. I'll be one of the commentators taking through this one. And this handsome devil is chance. How you doing, brother? I'm doing great, dude. Those intros got me so hyped because look, Celium right now is in the middle of arguably the greatest champs performance of all time. And Kenny on the other side is in that same category. And seeing that dude walk out with a bandana, I'm having like flashbacks of World War II. That is demon time for Kenny. And honestly, those two players have been the walking embodiment of turnt. I know they're showing up on Sunday. Yeah, Celium again putting forward one of the most impressive individual performances in a champs performance, as Neymar said, a let alone a land in general. He has been incredible from start to finish a regular season mvp and he's putting up the good work here at champs as well but chance there's a lot of stories here man I mean, the decks went back and forth there is so much going on between these two teams i have no clear-cut favorite i don't mind who wins everyone's walking away with a win today in this arena well no not the team that loses oh, look, it, right. it is legacy right. for one side of the stage whoever wins right you have the tears looking to be like if not already the best duo of all time you get another ring you know pop five of all time like they are making quick rounds on the flip side, Octane, who has been one of the best ARs of all time, he has one missing achievement. It is that ring. You have Kenny, who has two second places at chance, also missing that ring. If you get it, it adds to your legacy. But if you fail, you will have nightmares about this series for the rest of your life. It's going to be a long year until we get to MW2's championship. But until then, here we go. Don't shout us on Gavutu has been the catchphrase of the LA Thieves for a long time, Chance. We're starting the series off on one. All right, we're going to test it right off the break. And speaking of the break, this, in my mind, is the focus for the hard points. This is where Atlanta has struggled. And because they're coming from the loser's side, they're not always getting the side that they want for the hard points, including Gavutu. If you botch it straight off the rip on P1 and you're playing off the back foot, you're not going to have a good time. You have to win the Opening break. Opening break's incredibly important. It's been the absolute stalwart of a difficult season for Atlanta FaZe. But here we go. Nades are up, and it's the LA Thieves who strike first. Arsenis from behind, and good golly. What an opening break it's been. Dude, look at the speed demon go, but it is still oh! inside the point in the main AR battle. Already showing up in spades, but still, because of our cities, it's phased in the point. It's Celium ripping heads, and this is where Atlanta are at their best. Hey, we didn't want to start things off in a tab, but hey, it's looking good so far. Now to Sim, finds a two. Hard point now in the hands of Atlanta phase. Trying to find anything throughout the middle of the minimap. And again, for those watching at home, the red arrows on the minimap, that is going to be the LA Thieves Atlanta phase dressed in white. Oh, it's difficult to keep up, up, or up four. And well, right now, the good news for LA, they got the right spawns. The bad news is Selium to the surprise of no one, starting with the hot hand. That is a dominant P1 hill. That is Atlanta controlling the pace of the game and controlling that rotation as well. Three in the feed four in the hill time being collected. They're the ones running. It up. The second hard point now here on Gavutu, P2, the big, big old shit, bottom of the mini-map. We're there now for another 60 seconds before it will move again. It's first to 250 points here in the hard point game mode. And so far, so good for FaZe. And bro, Salium already eight kills. We're only two hills in your MVP for a reason. When they played against LA Thieves the other day, it was for the loss, but he dropped a 1.6. This is the prime man. And well, finally, someone can shut him down. Maybe a moment of life, a moment of respite as Thieves finally just trying to break away Ooh. from the pressure. Whoa, pressure. Pressure is the name of the game right now. And a phase, I've got it in spades. Forward into the hard point they go. The final 10 seconds, it's a late break from the boys of the LA Thieves now to Atlanta phase. Top right hand side of the minimap is where they want to go. Thieves have full control for now. Can they hold it? I mean, look, you're down by 50 and you already have to rotate over towards this P3 hill. Tries to push up nice and aggressive and well, he's going to get chopped down. Ring control for phase now there. They're working on the break through the front. The nades will slow him down. You already know for LA Thieves, their nades are always on point. Lethals and tacticals are essential in breaking this hard point and even trying to get close. Look at the position now you see for the LA Thieves holding phase back. Here come phase first up Arsenis next up sim trades are abound there's an opening now to work with can Abizi find another kill here forward he goes can't get it done 
Ten and six for Octane, and the hot point stays in LA's hand. An important moment just to get on. Void going had a bit of a slow start, so that's a nice little string of events to get him in the mix. And still for these final 20 seconds, Atlanta Phase, if they can find one of the pick, they're looking not for this trap, but to make sure they don't get the time. But it looks like draws it nice and secure, and now on that rotation, the MVP for the LA Thieves, it's Kenny by himself, waiting for Envoy. They're trying to make this break. Tough high point to get into. Watch out for the trap. We'll touch on that in a moment. For now, it's just trying to get through the front door. Kenny, the man up. Selium takes care of business. Envoy now trying to get involved. Sliding forward. Sell finds himself a second. That is unbelievable. Regular season MVP, currently sitting at 13-6. Yeah, no surprise there, already double positive, collecting this hill time, and the suns are ringing out, the nades are connecting, and LA Thieves starting to get some of those kills, but this oh is the final Oh my! Oh my. no! He'll be ripping it! Oh, he's ripping him. However, Kenny breaks in. Kenny finds two before being brought down. You've still got Atlanta Phase on the back foot. 30 seconds now, trying to get themselves into the hard point, but not only in, they have to get out chance. Well, yeah, that's the main thing. You lose one more of these gunfights, and Iron Boy on the flank is gonna take him down. You're worried about being stuck in this beach spawn, so this is two hills back to back where LA Thieves on point. You win this gunfight, Atlanta Phase, you can bury them on this rotation. This is a huge moment now for the LA Thieves. They have the right-hand side of the map. That's where the final hard point will lay in our set. The low side of docks. Slow things down, keep Atlanta phase trapped. They can have that final time, but you can take the lead here, LA Thieves. And you got Traza wrapping all the way back to make sure he can actually block those spawns. You got Kenny pushed so far up on this map. I mean, it is a marathon just to try to get near this hill, but right now, Atlanta phase, uh -oh. there is no openings on the map. Even if you kill Kenny, uh -oh. well, there's the uh -oh. next one to fall. The first wave is in, now for the hill. Reinforcement's gonna arrive real fast now for the LA Thieves. Hostie's the man up, trying to get some damage in there. Stun, slow. Over to Abizi. First man on the point catches himself a kill. Any more here? What a snap. Kenny wins it though. You're still maintaining control for the LA Thieves. The second wave, ineffective. Phase back to the drawing board. I mean, hey, I'd say all things considered for Phase, they will take that. They were put in a tough spot and at least stripping away some Whoa. of that time. Could pay off long term. Still for those final 15 seconds, maybe Cell is going to take a try. But either way, Thieves, it has been a couple good hills back to back to back. Now to that rotation of P1, where Thieves were in control of the pace of the game for a bit. Now it's Atlanta's turn to take the reins. Second set of hard points now upon us. We go right back to that anti-aircraft gun at the top side of the map. Here come the nades, though. Draza starts things off with a bang. Here go the Thieves. Upstairs, into the hill, Selian will take care of one at least. Simps there for the trade, Envoy, last man standing, Thieves with a break. And make no mistake, this is one of the best money hills in the game. It starts with the nades, and they just walk on through, get the break, and what a moment. Atlanta phase, the only opportunity since, like, what, four hey. hills ago to control the pace. Now they're getting shut down. Getting a nice set of kills there against three players for the LA Thieves, locking down that hard point. Abizi with a jump shot, has to pressure Octane now, get him out of here. This first half point's been so good right now for the LA Thieves. FaZe have had no answer whatsoever. They have been suffocated in the second set so far. Eyes towards the bottom side of the minimap as well, though. You're playing for second. And I kind of like this little play, just buying a little extra time to stay alive for the contest, but that is a little play that we'll find out if it can go a long way, but still a 50-point gap, and now the right side spawns for Atlanta, so they haven't made their move. They're waiting to strike as soon as the hill pops. RCD's climbing up. BZ's going a little rogue in the kill feet. We'll see how that hands up for him. Arsties is up. He is the captain now. Ship control for LA Thieves. For the other phase, as the LA Thieves now trying to bounce back into this one. It's a four spree for Abizi. It turns it into a five, and woo -hoo -hoo, he's running around just being annoying. I mean, it is just impressive to see the patient sort of plays to make sure, but now it's about how well they can keep track of all four players. You got Kenny. He's making plays. He's going to flip those spawns. So you'll oh. chalk up a little bit of P2 spawn or time. You get those spawns. That is a long term investment from Kenny, and that might be one of the plays. Of the game. Yeah, big move there from the LA Thieves. Keep an eye on that minimap. When those red players die, they should be on the right-hand side. If not, it's because number six has done the right thing, but there we go. Big moves now of the LA Thieves. They retain control, and Kenny, they got control. Doesn't get the kills. Oh, a busy spot him, though. A busy in the back. Look at that play. He gets them the spawns. LA Thieves make one mistake, and now they're not going to have this early rotation to the hill. So, a busy, that sneaky beaver making moves. You're down by 60, but that right there, I mean, I'll keep saying it, might be the play of the game. Could well be it. Possibility for another lead change now. LA Thieves, what do you do? Can you handle the sneaky beaver? Words of Papa Pucket now, but it's LA Thieves. They are running it up. They've smashed their way through the back door. They have control of the point, and Simp, he's left on his lonesome. He's done now as well.
This is going to be the theme for LA throughout this entire Grand Finals. How good are their nades every single time? They need a break on the hill. That's the intro, and hey, your MVP, he's just stuck at ring. There is nowhere to go. So much time being collected on this B3 hill. Don't child them on gap for good reason. Not over yet. 15 seconds remaining on this hard point. We will now go to the left-hand side of the minimap. Los Angeles Thieves are within spitting distance of the win. One more is all they need, but Atlanta phase, they have the map control. The break has got to be good from the Thieves. I mean, look, you're talking about three, maybe four hills back to back to back where Atlanta's gonna have to be oh my God. going. And that's not the best start. The cliff side of the map wide open. This is where LA Thieves are Whoa. trying to make their moves. The nades though there to slow them down, but the close spawn up, it'll be the entire team grouped up. Uh oh, it's a teammate from Sim, takes care of a counterpart, a BZ. Selim's on the flank for now. We'll see if that pays off in a second, but again, it's all about the front line. Keep them pinned, right in hand. Selim's on a three. That's a good bit of work from Atlanta. Atlanta phase, holding on to the point, pulling it back. I mean, this has been the freest 30 seconds you've actually had. And now for LA, a little bit of dangerous territory. You don't want to end up getting Whoa. spawn trapped, so you don't want to overcommit. So, yes, you get picked apart. Yes, you give away that full 60. Gather up, regroup, make your move towards P5. They don't quite have the same map pressure they had last time around, but hey, you still get the bulk control, win a couple gunfights, and LA Thieves will win the game here. LA Thieves. One more hard point to where they need, and it's appeared on the minimap, low right-hand side. The docks, the final hard point here, potentially, in the map. Atlanta phase, you need to make your way across map, boys. Break those lines and hold on to that point for dear life, or you're losing map number one. Here we go. Well, someone's actually got to get the time, so you got to play our envoy wrapping back. But He's once again, again, a busy so might have found the opening. So sneaky, not sneaky enough. Draza brings him down. Clock's ticking. Draza looking to take care of the others, as the front line is now being pushed further and further back. Ten seconds for the win, and the LA Thieves take map number one. Can they hold it down? Can Selim do anything? I do not think so. A comfortable close for the LA Thieves there in map one. And there is no sweat on those brows. Starting their grand finals off right. You hit them on gas. That's the last one they will play on Vanguard. And they played it to perfection. Uh, I mean, they might have messed up on the opening break. They were down by 60 going into the P3, but a couple of hills back to back to back. And I'm telling you, for this team, they have the best, most well-coordinated nades in the game. It's always the entry. Every single time, they're tagging players up. They're making those breaks. And hey, it also helped when, once again, shutting down Simp. 11 and 23, only 1,400 damage. That's now two hard points back-to-back -back where he has struggled against LA. Yeah, tough work. Not an easy thing to do on Gavutu with a submachine gun. Not exactly the right gun for the fight, but hey, sometimes they make it work. Kenny, a player that has done time and time again. 21-17 for the man on stage with Bandana. He came out with a lightsaber. It's Kylo Ken. The force was strong with him in that opening hard point. Great work out of Octane as well. Everyone across the LAT certainly Closing out their Gavutu hardpoint spree the way they began it chance so many months ago. And hey, just a beautiful way to kill some momentum too, right? Because again, that opening break, RCDs is flanking instantly. You had Cell that got off to a monster start in this game. And obviously, that is the player you are scared to let get the hot hand. But LA Thieves, keep it calm, keep it controlled, and get that dub. And you already know it is quite the battle. These guys have faced off seven times throughout this year. Selim is literally a walking 1.4 against them. Even when Thieves are winning, he's over there dropping 1.6s. And of course, on the flip side, Octane has been suffering. But later half of the year, once Kenny has hit his stride, this is where LA Thieves have been starting to get that work and go for that counterbalance. So again, just the best possible map one to get. Yeah, indeed. The LA Thieves wrote the book on Gavutu. They just closed it with a fantastic 250 to 187. Map number one is done here in our best of nine to determine the 2022 Call of Duty League champions. Berlin Search and Destroy up next chance. And this is a map that's been unkind to both teams at times. I mean, this is also a map where Atlanta has six of them, right? I know Octane is trying to, you know, make up for double donuts <laughs> yeah. that have, like, come into the past, right? Uh, I think his, like, S and D K D against Atlanta is, like, a 0.56 on the year. It's because the double donuts yeah. drag it down so far. But he's gotten a little bit of revenge. He has found his form. He has been on point with the sniper. And last time these guys played on Berlin, I I mean, it was a down-to-the-wire uh, paddle. Uh, also, two teams that it's an offensive shootout. Both of these guys, especially Atlanta phase, those fast B attacks, I mean, they are completely on point. 
Maybe a guy like Octane, pick him off on the cross, be there to shut him down. Yeah, the whole season has not been too kind for Octane to search and destroy, particularly against FaZe. Famously dropping the double donut, two consecutive search and destroys in a single series. He did not get a kill in, but you bet your bottom dollar he's looking for the revenge here. When it comes to SD, though, Chance. It's draws in itself. I mean, yeah, look, we're not joking in the slightest when we're talking about Selim having one of the best champions, like, performance of all time. The only category where he is not number one is in s and and that's because Draza, the one taking that crown, but by the slimmest of margins. And now it's the father-son duo, Draza and Kenny, the only two players averaging more than eight kills per round. These guys have been on point, and for Draza, grinding pays off. The guy that is in the s and Money A Chow's the guy that has run his mouth all year long. Well, he's been getting away with it this entire time. We'll see if he can go against Cell. I'd say another player that has been getting away with it all tournament long. Getting away with more than murder this week. Selim has had an insane performance as an individual, as has the team. Good stuff for them to get this far. It was a 3-1 loss to the LA Thieves that pushed them to the lower bracket. And from there, it was nothing but notches on the belt up until this moment. Selim again, getting ready to make Historic and iconic performance here in the COD League. Map number two, here we go. And who knows what will be considered a must win, but all that I know is because uh, LAT gets rid of the Bokash hardpoint, they get rid of the Tuscan control where they have a 4 9 record overall. Their map set looks sweet. A map like this, Berlin SD, where you're already down 0 1. Atlanta's got a couple problems coming up long term. They might not need to immediately strike back, but they will have a lot of problems if they don't. And also, Kenny, I mean, a .7 against Atlanta at the start of the year. He is getting better every single time he plays against them. That Berlin s and here we go. Search and destroy now upon us. It's first to six rounds. He will take turns attacking and defending. And once a player loses their life in a round, they are out. We'll see him in the next one. For now, we're going to the B-bomb site. The latter phase, they are on offense. And it's Octane again, watching that cross. We know how much Atlanta loved to go over to this site, and he spots out one. If you're cross seeing Selim cross the back train, you know eventually that bomb will cross as well. Uh -oh. Looking for that first pick. We can see him through the X-ray of Codcaster. But it is simply spidey senses and maybe good timing. It's giving Octane the inkling there. A slow round chance, less than a minute now to play with. Phase. There's the opening shots. Yeah, they're making moves on the flank too. Again, this father-son duo love working in tandem, so they got a little bit of information, but also Abizi is roaming towards the middle of the map, so you can't overcommit. And that bomb is gonna cross, and Abizi strikes for the first blood. The bomb makes it to sight, and Selium's still alive. This is perfect for Atlanta. The car 98K unable to penetrate that brick wall there, so Selium will stay alive. Bomb planted now. Selium's gonna be the watchful guardian. The Sim does a bit of redecorating. No more doors to cover anyone trying to defuse that bomb. Good luck on this approach for the 3v4. You got to start moving quick as well. Drazi does find a pick, but look at how deep these Atlanta players are tucked in the back of the map. Sim's left by himself, but if you don't find this pick, you're just going to lose the round and Sim there to shut him down. Trades out, 2v2, less than 25 seconds of the clock now to play with Drazi now making moves. Forward he goes, looking to clear out every possible angle that the Thieves could be coming from. And then we go, it's a big shot, but it's not enough to get the kill as Selium is still alive. 1v1 against Octane now on the flank. Drazi holds him in place, takes care of business. 10 seconds. Can you get on the ball? It's about the protection you have to guess where he's coming from and make the read too little too late arsenies with the clutch and again just not enough time in the three versus four the idea was there but too tough of a spot you already saw it from atlanta both ar players in the back of the map and the clock was on their side solid first round get that momentum back potentially in their favor Takes seven and a half seconds to defuse that bomb once planted. Arsties knows the timing all too well. Perfect play. Take that first round here in the search. I'm not gonna see exactly what LA Thieves have cooked up. I mean, you gotta give credit to Draza. Starts out 3-0, so certainly Gunny uh, was ready. Obviously, your number one SD KD looking to keep things going. Neutral setup though for LA. They'll be playing for picks. Here comes the opening fight. And it's Draza once again finding those kills. Phase though. Whoa, they win out a couple. Octane joins his pal on the kill feed. Now it's a 2v2. And you already know Octane versus Selim. We'll see that gunfight so many times, but he's actually dipping away. They are making quick moves. They know it'd be easy to be the lone man over towards B, so should be a quick commitment towards the bomb plan. And they're playing it for the deep side, but Selim, that's oh. the direction he's speaking from. Oh, Selim just appeared at the last possible second. He definitely saw that player crossover. 40 seconds now, and that bomb goes boom. 
Cell has to check every corner. He has no idea where that second player could be. And if he's not going for flanks, he's grouping up with his teammate. They're going to approach this together. Here we go. Opening shots. Kelly draws first blood here in this 2v2. 25 on the clock now. Selium's got to go. It's a 1v2 situation. There's Octane, guns up. Oh my god, he wins the fight, but Kenny's there for the trade. You give him half a second to get away, and Selium becomes a massive problem. LA Thieves, that's the equalizer. And again, Octane versus Selium. A gunfight we will see many times. <laughs> and a frustrating there for Octane, but hey, you get that round win. Take care of business, and I like the idea. I was thinking a neutral setup play for Pigs. Envoy's trying to pierce the middle of the map, and even though he gets caught, all of the ARs posted up, ready for the trades. That is an efficient play call coming out. Those mid hits, rare that you can make them work on Berlin. LA will be happy for that round one. Back over to B we go for Atlantic phase now. Tried and true, worked out for them a lot this year. Envoy, though, knows that as well. He and Octane will be the defenders here. Concussion to blow the doors wide open, and Envoy knows to back up. Smart angle to hold, but here comes the bomb. And Envoy's got help. They are doubled up in this moment. Octane will be right behind, so he has help for the trades. You can play this a little bit differently inside. They're stacked up. There goes Simp across the way. Dips on out. Here comes the covering fire. Is everyone looking to vie for the fight? Abizi might be the man to do it. Cracks the window. Oh, there it is. Octane stays alive. Great coverage from Envoy. 4v3. Sim still has himself on the inside of the bomb site, Selly and backing him up, but you have got thieves all around you. And he's got the automaton too, so this is tricky to win these gunfights. And you peek out the window, you know you're getting tagged, and he feels the pressure. So he backs down, oh. he's looking for the nade, but again, it's two players here. It's more awkward, and he just feels the pressure, and he gets picked. And by the way, number two, making reads. They know RCD is behind enemy lines, and they are sending Kenny on the hunt. Oh, this is such a tough situation to be in now for Atlanta Phase. That bomb is down in a bad spot. Beautiful. Fantastic coverage. All guns up. That was a magnificent round from the LA Thieves. And again, it is just that slight little change up of how you're defending the B site. Instead of leaving an SMG by himself over towards B, Octane's there for the cover. And we saw how they made it work, watching each other's back. And even when Sim is going out for the Chowler to send a nade, it is so many different players and a slightly more unique setup. LA Thieves, that'll be two in a row. LA Thieves now on offense, bomb in hand. It's gonna be Envoy making the move. It looks like we're going towards B. The opening throw of Lethals is up. Will it land? There's a lot of phase members there. Hit marker, information passed over. Abizi is gonna lick his wounds, but he's gonna get right back into the fight, and here we go. I don't think this round is gonna slow down anytime soon. The LA Thieves, they are so close. They've made it to the inside of P2, the mailroom building, just on the other side of that bomb site. Oh, and it's tense. You got RC's potentially on a fast flank as well. You have Octane actually watching the full flank from his spot over and back train. So a very tight setup for LA. Still holding the line. No one's going to let anything go by just yet. Sim with a quick reposition. Oh, the shoulder was spotted as Draza now knows the fight's on. Just trying to bait each other out. It's truly a standoff. And that's Through the opening blood. Finally, Selium's going to get it. Kenny now close range. Toe to toe with the BZ. He has some help to back Through him up as Selium finds his second kill. He doesn't need eyes on. He just needs to know that they're there and he'll bring him down. Boy gets out with his life. I mean, Cell is just impossible to play against, man. All these kills through walls, the x-ray vision on point, and now the walls are open, making it that much easier. And nowhere to even wrap to. RCD has been locking down the A site. So this is easy reads for Cell. He's looking for the next two. They line him up. He gets Whoa. a couple tags and only 18 on the clock. You've got to make a play. Simp is there for the trades and a 1v2. Oh! That does not last. Doesn't last very long. I mean, look at the composure in these kind of moments, man. I mean, Selim's movement has been another touching point in this game. So innovative in game, so exciting to watch. Staying alive in that kind of situation, giving his teammates time to reinforce and get in position, drown the LA Thieves out. And, and I'm pretty sure those doors were closed on the B bomb side. So I think Selim was literally just shooting through walls, knows the <laughs> angle to perfection. And as soon as Draza, there's a little bit of opening. The nade's coming over top, just gets taken care of. And obviously, Sel, two for two. The Terminator for a reason. Evening up the odds. The Battle of Berlin continues. Back over to B, we go. Watch an eye on Asties, though. He's the island player right now for phase. Bottom side of the minimap. He'll be doing something a little bit later on. He's trying to make sure that no one from the Thieves gets a little too big for their boots and makes their way behind the lines of Atlanta face. Father Sun Duo again, though. That's They're trying it. to make moves and they catch them. Oh, no. They oh, get no. that first blood and now where do you go? That's such a big move now. LAT's got a lot more map control. You know where these players of phase are going to be. The gunfights are up. Nades, stuns, everything's being thrown. An Octane at this range, utterly lethal. 
mean, right now the job for the Thieves is just no one get picked. You, you don't have to just throw shoulders endlessly. You have the information on the crosses. You have both bomb sites on lock. The pressure is on Atlanta. The onus is on them to try to find and make this move. And they could potentially make their way towards the A-bomb site. There is a small window, but you're running out of time. 30 seconds now remaining on the round. There he goes. Yeah, you show your head for a moment. Octane will take care of it. Even spots BZ on the cross. And oh, well, come on. On boys there for the dish out trade in a perfect round coming out from LA Thieves. I mean, just literally, as soon as that duo, they tried it a couple times on defense where Draza and Kenny work together through the train side of the map. When they get punished, when they get first blooded, they lose the round. When they connect and drop RCDs, it makes it so much easier after the fact. They retake that ever so slight one round advantage. That's just wonderful patience as well from the LA Thieves. They are not getting antsy, they are not making any sort of, you know, ambitious play. They're just letting the Atlanta phase come to them. And this is the perfect round just to hit the B site. It has been left out completely in the open. So Atlanta's going for the hard read over towards A. Nobody's home. They're connecting through mid. And Ibizi's trying to be quick about it because they know if they leave B oh, open, man. you have to pounce. And there's the strike. First Blood King delivers. Fast plant, though. The bomb goes down to B. Get rid of the doors. Eyes on the clock. This is going to be a big one. You're a man down now for the LA Thieves. How do you hold on to this post plant position? And, and there's no one in like the, the purest of clutch spots. It is a much tighter setup, and this is harder to clutch for LA. It might go good for them. We'll find out. 30 seconds though, you gotta start moving. Draza holds the back down, trade it out immediately. Here comes Abizi now getting into the fight. 25 on the clock. Octane's repositioned from the outside. He's making his way upstairs. It's a shuffle, a late minute one from the LA Thieves, and now it's 20 to go. And look at that read though. They're trying to flip the sides. Who actually moves on site, but Octane, uh -oh. he gets caught. Envoy left the little 1v3. He only has to kill the guy on bomb. Here he goes! Dives on it. Catches the player out. Can they get onto the bomb and get the kill in time? No! A matter of seconds for Atlanta phase. As Envoy, the slipperiest of players in an unorthodox position, steals the round. And, and would you look at that? It is harder to clutch in those moments. It is Envoy for the 1v3 where he has to be perfect, but they nailed it. What's up, Donnie? How we doing? <laughs> you had number seven, RC is on the minimap, by the way, chasing ghosts in the back of spawns. It was, again, the slightly unnatural setup. We've seen LA Thieves mixing up quite a bit on Berlin. Another example where that slight change up goes a long way, gets you the round win, two round advantage. It's a high, oh, it's a heavy hit. We're going towards A and we're going fast. Broken windows, bullets, shells, bodies now all over the point and LA Thieves, they're dropping out. 2v3, Atlanta phase, might be able to get this one down fast. There we go. It still comes down to Octane, who's managed to find a kill in this difficult situation. 2v2, oh baby, a busy right in the mix, and now it's a 1v1. This round has been insane. Hey, he's so far away. This RCD's tagged him up in the back moment, and Envoy trying to catch him on the chase. The timing not there. Oh my. He didn't see him. Here comes the merge, though. They're going to have to go head to head. RCD's lines up. A warning shot. A little bit of love. Time still ticking. 20 seconds now, and that bomb goes boom. Faze need to hold him back. And Envoy's waiting. Envoy is just waiting for him! Knows where the bomb is planted for. Knows where wow. RCDs is going to check for. And has the ice and the stones and the patience to wait. Sets the trap and he's waiting for the chow. Will it be secret? Will it be P5? RCDs walks right into the trap. We have called him one of the more cerebral players here in the Call of Duty League for the longest of times, and it's been moments of utter brilliance, and that one from Envoy. Two rounds now where he has helped save the day. Map point, LA Thieves. And look, they've mixed it up so many times. This might be an aggressive hit over towards A, and look at the hard read again. Atlanta, three players over towards B, not ready at all. Oh my god, who's this? Number seven, Austin, you back on up, son. You're in serious trouble. There are a lot of thieves on the outside. There may not be a hundred of them, but there's plenty. And they're gonna deal with that damage if they get inside that bomb site. Austin, hold that line, hold that gun up. Here comes Draza, here comes Kenny. It's the door has been cracked. Backs on out. Here come the reinforcements. Phase on the move. Uh, they just such an awkward map, but Octane in the back gets that first blood. They are stagnant. They are pinned at 4 HP. Not enough, but Kenny gets the trade in time. You still have the main advantage. Breathe out the fire from your lungs. Just wait for the opportunity now. This is what Phase need. Bit of patience. It's been the name of the game for the LA Thieves so far. And here we go. Simpan Arsons. Back to back. Shoulder to shoulder. Technically a 1v3. Bomb being planted at A. 
But the bomb does go down, and it is planted on the wrong side, and Kenny gets out with his life. This is tough work, RCDs. It is pretty much just on Gunny. You have to gun both players. Thieves are back to back. Here comes the first fight. Will RCDs check it? Guns are up, shoulders are thrown, catches one, draws the last man up. And the trade isn't quick enough, so he might clear out the site. Uh-oh. He should know. Uh-oh. I don't know if anyone knows, and that has just changed things significantly. Okie dokie. We will see now what Draza will do. 20 seconds on this one. Will RC be there? Tag 6 HP. Draza, if you reach out this, son. Oh my good god. Time's ticking. He's done it. He's done it. He's done He's it. He's done it. Playing with this food. It's a 2 0 lead for the LA Thieves now in the grand final. 6 2. There on Berlin. A truly dominant display. As we say goodbye to that particular map and mode for now. And those small little tweaks Six. in the setups, the small little moves they're making in the strats, that goes a long way on top of the 1v1s playing the mind games. Envoy just so patient for the 1v1 against RCs, and Traza plays the fiddle the exact same way, doesn't reach out instantly, gets the timing perfect. And all things considered, 6-2, that is a dominant map to win. Unbelievable. And a lot of phase, I mean, you can't say they didn't have their fair share of first bloods, you know, BZ putting in the regular work. It just didn't amount to a whole lot. It was the heads up play. It was all thieves all day on Berlin. And, and look, that is like split on the first bloods. That is four for either side. It was balanced in that category. That is truly outplaying your opponent. The homework was done. And they will take that 2-0 lead, especially when they get to go back to gas. Kavutu Control, the next map up. The last time we will see Kavutu here in the 2022 Vanguard season. And yeah, we're going to pour one out for that map. Or not, I don't know, I can't tell. We'll find out, guys, a bit later on. But Kavutu Control coming up next. Uh, but we still, we have, uh, we're going to take a bit of a break now, Charles, because we still have our MW2 reveal. We've got a lot of fun coming up here. Incredible day for Call of Duty fans the world over. Man, I mean, so far, Chance Grand Finals is definitely going to LA Thieves the way they predicted it. I mean, again, because they get the Gav next as well. Like, they have so many good maps in this series. I think for Atlanta, it is demon time. They got to find a way to dig deep and bounce back because that is a very difficult start. We'll see if they get the job done. Well, we're going to go to a very quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, we won't be diving straight into control. That's right, we've got our MW2 reveal, secrets, all sorts of goodies to vote for, and more on the other side of this break. Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew and Zenny. Armor your eyes with blocks gaming glasses starting at $24 by visiting zenny.com slash CDL. So players take a quick break and get ready to get back to the action. Maven here. I am joined by Stephanie Snowden, Director of Communications at Infinity Ward. How Hi, are we doing? Clint. It's great to be here. Hi, Welcome Nameless. back. We've thank got you, some history, you. right? Yeah. We do. We go way back. We launched CDL together back in 2019. Yep. This time last year, we were all here in the same place, the Galen Center. So there's nothing like Champ Sunday. What's better? 
I know this is about to, about to get wild, but Anne, I know we got some stuff to dive yeah, into. Yeah, I mean, we got you up here now. We've been teasing this all weekend long. So my question is, got I know you guys have been, yep, you guys have been cooking up something special over there at Infinity Ward. What can you tell us about it today? Oh man, everyone at IW is heads down trying to finish this game, and we are just so excited to show you. I know the fans, the community, you guys are hungry to see it. And so what I am here to tell you today is all about what's next. Call of Duty Next, our franchise showcase event, September 15th. Everything you want to know about this game, everything you want to see, it's going to happen there on September 15th. So Call of Duty Next, is this like a multiplayer reveal? What is this? Call of Duty Next is, is bigger than a reveal. This is franchise-wide. This is a huge moment in, in for all of Call of Duty. Yeah. It's what's next for Warzone. It's what's next for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. It's the future of the Warzone mobile experience. Hey. It is live gameplay from your favorite streamers and creators from the event. It's going to be awesome. Okay, okay, listen, it's awesome the streamers and creators get to play it, but let's talk, let's talk beta. When do I yeah. get a chance? I know, you got, you, everybody wants to get their hands <laughs> on this game. I know, especially you guys. The coolest thing about Call of Duty Next is the very next day, September 16th, the beta is going to happen. All yes. of the gameplay that you will see at Call yeah. of Duty Next on the 15th, you're going to be able to jump right in for PlayStation Early Access on September 16th. We got two weekends of beta, the open beta for all platforms, September 24th to the 26th. And uh, this beta is bold, okay? We're going big. We're really ambitious with the content and the innovations that we're bringing to the table here. And uh, it's got more than just the core 6v6. Well, Stephanie, okay. speaking right. of more, can you give us some more? As a Call of Duty fan, I'm sure everybody here that's watching wants to see a sneak peek of a map, a gun, something. What can you give us? Okay, here's what I've got for you. I'd like to introduce you guys to the very first look at Marina Bay Grand Prix. Okay, let's see it. So this is a very first look at one of the oh. multiplayer maps that will be in the beta for Modern Warfare 2. Clint, I know you're yeah, a yeah, yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, they call me Bald Max for Verstappen. <laughs> I'm ready to get twisted. No, they don't. don't like that as a Ferrari fan. <laughs> but, uh, this map's got awesome. It, it, it's beautiful. It's got really clean lines. It's actually one of the maps that um, we've had some really positive feedback from the CDL players and our play test so far. So I'm pumped for you guys to see it. Yeah, it's really vibrant, really pretty. I can't wait to get my hands on this. And this will be in the beta, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Playable well, in beta. And uh, you might want to be careful getting a little too close to the uh, the track there, I will say. Uh, no, I'm going to definitely spicy. die, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> well, this just sounds cool. What next, it uh, just sounds like bigger than your typical reveal type yeah. event. When you talk about the beta, it's going to have more than we're used to, which is awesome. But all right, so we got next Don't around make. the corner, the beta around the corner. But for fans at home that are watching, like, I don't know, what are some things they can do in preparation for what's coming? Yeah, next is coming up in a couple of weeks, basically a month away. Um, and so keep your eyes peeled on the Infinity Ward channels. I can say that uh, we're going to be dropping some Back critical intel over the next couple of weeks across our social channels and definitely be on the lookout for future chances to collect a beta code. I, I love that. I can't wait. Ant, you're getting fried. No, I'm not. No, I'll he's going to smoke you. you I've, seen the, I've seen how this plays out. You're not wrong. Hey, uh, Stephanie, it's been great. Uh, we have a lot of history. Miss You're you the best. Uh, Good to you've been see killing you. it. Uh, IW, we cannot wait for MW2 for the news about the future of Warzone 2 as well. But that's going to do it for us. We're getting back to the grand final here. The action continues on to our casters. Chance and Miles, take it away. Thank you very much, Bald Max Verstappen. Oh my God. Tell Grand Prix, though, pretty badass, though. Three lanes. Can't wait to see how that one goes down. Here we go. Uh, Chance, was it Gavuta Control? It is absolutely Gavuta control. control. And you have LA Thieves that are going to be over the moon to see it for the final time because don't child us on Gav. It could be the final stamp and like bring the meme back to like victory. I know it was painful towards the start of the year. And speaking of pain, I mean, this is Atlanta. They are down 2 0 in a grand finals where they are 0 for 3 so far in Vanguard. Talk about feeling the pressure, and especially when you're going against a team where it looks that yeah. good. Perfect on defense, ridiculous KD, and 40% for offense. They're making offense close to 50 50. I mean, truly, they are godlike on this map. Well, surely, if you're a betting folk, I know we've seen some insane bets go down <laughs> this week in the Call of Duty world. Yes, we have. You've been looking forward to an LA Thieves 3 0 here, but we'll see what happens, man. Atlanta Phase, never count them out. One team we've seen make it time and time again Atlanta Phase. Second, 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 third. Another second place. It's time to hit the afterburners, boys.
And look, it, it is a tough thing to say for Atlanta that they need their SMG duo, Simp and Ibizi, to turn up on a map like Gavutu. We but said that. these are the guys that have been suffering so far in this series, in this matchup against LA. I, I mean, again, Selium literally from the opening break of map one was frying. And since like that third hill, Atlanta have had almost no success. And well, you can see these guys are frustrated. You know, it is not a fun spot to be in. You can feel it sort of like creeping up again. At second place, that bullseye on your back is just growing by the map. Coach Crowder there, final words of advice to the boys of Atlanta phase. They'll need it now going to control. Jay Cap on the other side, the coach from the LA Thieves. We know Shane's backstage as well. What a turnaround for the entire organization here in the Vanguard season. They win Major Four, they find themselves in the Grand Finals here. Could they go back to back? We will see. But over to Gabutu now we go. Control of third game mode here in the Call of Duty League. There are two zones, capture them to completion to win the round or eliminate your enemies. They're 30 lives. Here we go. And you just need to find a way if you are Atlanta to have success on offense. You can't afford to get spawn trapped. You can't afford to not capture A. I mean, you have to do at least the league average or you're going to feel the wrath of the LA Thieves on Gavutu. And it'll be Atlanta on the attack first. No funny business here, going straight towards A. Flying in under a hail of gunfire, though. They get on the point, they stop the clock for a moment, but immediately they're met by Envoy as Dylan Adam has picked up three in a row, looking to take care of the entire squad, and he's done it. That's an incredible opener. Envoy versus FaZe, who wins? Turns out it's the Prince. Already Atlanta FaZe stuck in your spawn. You can't afford to have a bad opening break, and well, oh, here they are Whoa! getting picked apart. No way. One by one. And if he gets the glide on his first life, what a dagger. My goodness. One more kill zone. He's 45 seconds on the round as well, though. So LA Thieves running these defensive rounds exactly as you like. However, over towards the B zone, we now go. Octane's going to be the lone man. I'm trying to hold them back. Here comes FaZe. Can he slow the tide? He dearly does, but they get on the point for a brief second. 33 seconds and ticking. This ain't good for Atlanta. Ah, he got out, though. That is an incredible moment for Envoy just to be the speed demon to get away, because again, he is one more kill. That is all he needs. And he's got whatever gun he wants to take care of business. And Simp the guy for the chow. You oh, can't man. beat it to him. And Simp backs him down. And you see Atlanta moves over towards A. They have a little bit of an opening. Well, I've been excited about the potential for streaks. Now you've got one segment captured towards A now for Atlanta phase. Oh, boy. There it is. Seven in a row. Gets himself streaks brought down at the last second. But that's fine. The damage is already done. And that last kill there from Octane, that opens the clock up once again. Here we go, flying forward. Atlanta Faze need to get themselves in towards A. Ten seconds of counting. In they go. Kenny's got the doors covered. Top side all sweet. Shots are there. Damage dealt. There's no one home. No one on the point. No chance. There we go. And that's the round. LA Thieves open up a can of whoop ass. I mean, just what a way to punch him in the mouth. Envoy already a glide bomb, a nearly perfect first round. Only a single tick given away. And I mean, again, they have won 40% of their offensive round. And if you got a glide bomb, well, this team can make a little bit of magic happen. Already such a difficult spot for Atlanta to be in. Run it up indeed. Altain's on a five spree looking to potentially get streaks as well. Envoy seven and one start. That is unreal. Abizi's causing problems on the inside of the boat. Whew, there it is, number six for Sam LaRue. And <laughs> what's better than one glide bomb? Get that second as well. He could be posted up for the longest time. If you're on offense, you will take just the extra kill streak in the back pocket. And I think Octane just waiting for a little bit of that bait. Here comes Rick Stroll. Envoy's gonna get cut down. Wait for the bait though. Still gonna hit the streaks. Here comes Abizi. Beats him, gets it to him once again. That's three. Unreal now. We've got numbers, we've got time, we've got the opportunity to capture the A zone as well. Two sets of streaks to play with. LA Thieves in the driver's seat. Uh, I mean, Atlanta just getting jumpy. They go and feed him the kill streak. Now you have two glides to deal with and you lose that map control. And oh, now man. you're getting shot in the back. You're already down on ticks. And this spiral just continues. A should be secured unless Sim can get there quick enough and maybe he wins the gunfight, but that is A on lock. LADs, you get two glide bombs to try to win this round. With the A zone being captured there, three segments in the bag, you get an additional minute of game time to play with in the round. There's only one life separating these two teams right now. On boy, nice kill. Still working towards it. Maybe another set of streaks, you never know. 
they know Arsides is behind, so yeah, Envoy gonna turn, times it out perfectly, doesn't win the gunfight though, Ooh. so couple big ones coming through from Atlanta, and they at least shut down the flank that was coming through as well. That first play opportunity, no success. A BZ posted on the far side of the map, and you at least have that map control. Ring on lock, Atlanta phase with a nice spread. And I'd say they'd like to be able to burn a glide if they can, but it's not up to them in this situation. It's about how LA Thieves want to play this game. LA Thieves slow but surely marching their way up the beach. One man at a time, trades are there. Can he end the cycle? Sim, no. Puts him right back to square one. Whoa, a big one from Sim. That's a huge win. A lot of map pressure now as FaZe move forward. Uh, yeah, 45 seconds left. You are back pinned in your spawn. This is looking like oh a, my a God. solid round outside of giving away the glide. As we are just trying to do our due diligence to end this round. And I mean, we talked about how it's the tears that need to pick things up. Not the easiest map to make things happen, but 12 and 7 for Mabizi. Sim has had a couple nice ones. Make sure you secure the defense towards the end, keep things controlled, and take a big breath. Get ready for that next round. The 2-2 split here as they're holding back the Thieves. LA Thieves unable to get out of spawn. Sim, magnificent shot at range, the force free to him. Pinning him down. And they are eating lead right now. The final five seconds on the round, there is absolutely no hope in hell. LA Thieves can get out of this one. What a magnificent. Bounce back, Atlanta face. And, and Simp ended that round on a five spree, so two away from the glide. But if you're Atlanta, if there is ever a time to pull out some cheeky B opening break to make moves, you have two separate glide bombs that you have to get burned from the other side. You're already down on ticks. You might end up on offense for round five if you get there. You got to start pushing the pace on this map. And nothing creative just yet. They're going towards A, but no success last time. They gotta get Simp this glide. Can Simp get the glide? Push that pace. Arsty's pushing P with that nade over the top. A beast joins him in the feed as well. And okay, slow and steady. Can he? Oh man, he possibly catch him here. Big tags. Finds his boys at the stairs. Just lying down, capturing A. It's a fast hit right off the rip. Massive win from Kenny. Can a BZ get him? Yeah, that's a five for a BZ. Woo! Nearly gets number six. But A should be captured unless they can take care of self. Uh, I don't know about should. Yeah, no. Envoy is making oh, moves. Oh, and the oh, angle oh. from Envoy and the headshot on point. And now you're back to your spawn. You got a gunfight over towards ring. Kenny is on the hunt. He gets dropped. And hey, Sim might get traded, but you're just trying to alleviate that pressure on the map. But I don't know if that's enough. Atlanta phase. They look like they are stuck again. Thieves not giving them a single option. Less than a minute now to go. Octane still controlling that top boat side. Not going to let this spot go whatsoever. 50 seconds now remaining. It's a three-man hit from FaZe. An opening now. They've got it. Forward they go. Can Kenny soften them up before they get to the point? That's the mission objective now. Send in the rest of the team. Try to cover it. He's doing a great job. Two spree for Kenny. Straight into the point we now go. Here comes Sim. Caught sliding, caught unaware, Arsty's on the trades, and back and forth we go on the point. I mean, Atlanta, they're desperate for these gunfights. They are desperate to be able to capture this A point, and every time they get near, they get cut down along the way. Abizi, Damn. hey, doesn't get traded, at least not for this second, but still, 22 seconds left on the clock. They can't capture this A point. Can't even get close now, Arsty's the only man there. Watch that timer, 15 seconds, the one segment to get an additional minute of play. Whew. Close win. On this point we now go. 13 seconds and holding. Can't catch the feed out. Octane pounces back up. Here comes Kenny. Here comes Kenny. No way. Point secured. One more minute on the clock. All right, you will take that. And again, you're down on lives, but you want to push the pace. This is the moment to try and burn a glide bomb. You got players on the flank, players coming through the second cut. Win a couple gunfights. Start making moves. Easy on the flank. Can he open up something? Need to move a little faster. Turn and burn. Here comes Kenny, but he's got the right timing. He's got the right idea, and he's got the gunny. It's two for a BZ. Now you're on the point. About to phase. This could be the turnaround. Oh, this is a couple oh. kills in a row. You don't have ring, but you get bodies on the point. You got a BZ in your spawn, and it forces Glide Bomb number one. Glide Bomb one out. That's got Varsity's name written all over it. You clean the point out. You take care of a BZ. Now you've only got two members of phase left to deal with for the LA Thieves. And that take barely secured as well. So they're actually trying to decap this if oh. they can. And Atlanta just needs to touch it for a bit more of a moment, but they can't get it. They lose the control. So that's a small victory of dishing out the glide. But obviously, there's still one more. There's 25 seconds left. There's the opportunity for one more decent hit, but you need four down. You have to go big, Atlanta. This has got to be a clean, decisive push. And right now, 
They're getting things going. Arsenies with the first. Will they account for Kenny and Draza deep? No. Draza gets his. Envoy's on the on the board as well. And it's just starting to rattle out. It's starting to rattle out. There's no way. They can't get close. At last ditch every... Oh, my God. No, but it's done. It's done. It's done. Yep. Throw in the towel. This round is over. I mean, how many nade kills from LAVs are we going to see? So many times where there's the smallest of windows, it explodes in their face. And I mean, again, a small victory there for Atlanta. You at least burn a single glide, but you still have another one to deal with. And got to make sure you get a dominant round on defense. They are technically up by a tick, but obviously, you know how successful LA are. Maybe off the opening break, if FaZe can take it to him and shut him down right from the get-go. That could be their path. Map point, LA Thieves. Atlanta FaZe just have to hold on. We're going to force that final round, and I do believe LA Thieves have the advantage when it comes to segments, so they will be getting defense in that final round. FaZe, you've got to go big. Well, already out to the point. Couple kills going their way, and still all that pressure towards the boat. So it's one of those moments for the opening break where FaZe really putting the emphasis on trying to go for these flanks. But if that opens up the boat, I mean, this is power positions. This is Draza in his home, and good reads on the flank. Big wins up top, and maybe RCD's that next oh! in line. He falls out, the next tick is in, and now I think LA Thieves have truly made sure they get the defense at the very least. At the very least. Now it's secured. Drugs is in, Kenny's in, father and son duo, they are running it here. There's a few moments left, they're gonna capture A, and it's gonna be two minutes and 14 seconds to run around Gavutu. But one last time in control here in the Vanguard season, and Envoy is having a great time. And hey, they can use the glide bomb on the attack as well. They got a little bit of ring control, they got Kenny looking to make that play. It's all about those angles, though, and Cell knows it to a T. Shuts him down, and look at FaZe right back inside a ring, pouncing. Both of those tears in their new home. FaZe now, mission objective, hold the line. Do not let the LA Thieves through. Sim, king of the ring now. He's gonna lock this position down as long as he can. That is smooth moves and a great aim. Here come the LA Thieves. They need to take him out of this power position. Easier said than done. You're on the point, though. Yeah, Joss is being cheeky, but he's also completely by himself with no real support. And there you go. The nade is in to take him down. The gunfight's though from the front, but through the back, it is a flank. LA Thieves getting picked apart. The man on ring by himself. And looks like FaZe. They have kept that stranglehold on this map. Oh, my. Cross is covered. And just keep getting these trades on boy the next one to fall efficient work from atlanta phase hold it again 14 lives remaining for the la thieves as atlanta phase sitting at 17 they've got a little bit more to work with here it's been a costly push that last one towards b now all through both side here come the thieves ow 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 it's painful. Put a band-aid on it. Octane will read right back in the mix. And now you have Kenny. Maybe the opening's trying to work the flank as well. And every time he comes back here, it's selling Woo! that he deals with. And the snake's on point. Nails it. One more hit to deal with, though. Cell spot him. No, Draza wins the fight. 24 HP. Can Arsties get there in time just to stop him from regening and keeping this play alive? My yes. God, Draza keeps it going. All now comes down to Sim, back at ring once again. And, and we have seen Draza in these moments when he's in the back making the game-winning plays. Uh -oh, uh -oh, he's uh -oh. looking for the next one, but can't get it done. And you see the kills all over the map. Atlanta phase, nice and secure. They win the defense. That's only good enough to go to that round five. Yeah, Cell's gonna go, whoa! No, I was gonna say he's gonna go big here, but 12 seconds to go. No way you make it across the way. A long march across the dune. Kenny's gonna find kill after kill. Five lives remaining for the LA Thieves. They could lose it here potentially, but we will go to a final round. One final round on Gavutu. And here we go. And on Gavutu, at the very start of the year through stage one, it was, you know, 75 25 on defense. Over time, though, teams on defense have locked it down. I mean, we're talking 10% chance of winning these rounds on offense. It is incredibly difficult to make it happen. And even more of a problem for Atlanta, you also have another glide they have to deal with. It would take a miracle for these guys to win this round. Final round. LA Thieves get defense. They've won them all so far. Can we see something special from FaZe? They're already capturing A. It's a one-man stack. Simp the job. He's all on his shoulders. He holds him down. Takes care of Octane. Great work. More of the members of the Thieves now charging forward. Can Abizi slow the stem of reinforcements? He might be able to do even better than that. 
And this guy's out of ring. Oh, I think that, I don't know if Kenny was intentionally falling down towards the beach or whether he was looking for the trade, but now BZ able to make moves. I mean, this has been the cleanest A capture Atlanta has had. And well, well, now he's inside your base. BZ, 27 kills, trying to be the problem. He's certainly a problem. His objective now is just to run in and out of the lines of the LA Thieves, cause as much discord as possible. He's doing a great job now. Unfortunate timing, the spawn is still alive. Slight life lead to Atlanta phase. They have still got eyes on B. And out, well, yeah, there he goes. RCD's trying to be the guy to work on the flank. Sim trying to go up towards ring and LA Thieves in full control. The deep map uh -oh. spread. Octane has found a corner. And there is just no openings on this map. I mean, look at the red arrows just in full control. They're lined up. Set up for the hold. You can do a two phase off. He's holding it down. Here come the reinforcements, though. Ringside. That's where Dras is now going to be the next line of defense for the LA Thieves. FaZe trying to battle out of their spawn as best they can. They have still got plenty of time, but now the life count is starting to burn out. Beams, beams as well from Envoy, tagged by the nade, but this is another five spree. And there's just no map control, man. FaZe are looking for some sort of a clean four down, but the positioning right now from LA, it is the deepest map spread, but now they've actually given up ring. But the guy who's away from the action, he's got the glide, and he's on a six spree in the meantime. Get it? Doesn't need it. He managed to catch one. There's a trap on the inside, though. His bays are still alive and kicking on ringside. Kondraza, take care of anyone. Here comes the opening shots. He's tagged up, backed up. Ring around to Rosie! A pocket for the posy! A tissue, a tissue. And Sip Man stands up. Keeping it going. One minute now remaining. Well, Faze, is, they've, it, got, uh, they've got the angles, they've got the numbers. They can still make this happen. And they burn the glass, oh. and now they're making the moves. A couple kills traded, but they don't get the next. And these oh my. shut them down on that next approach. 44 seconds. You get one more good try if you were Atlanta. They got a long way to go. Getty. Hunting down this last player in the ring. Here comes FaZe. They're in. Kills are good. Draws are now low beach side. He they could go big. Him. No, he's been cleaned up. FaZe have flown. They're flying onto the point. Now it's a stack. Two players on. 30 seconds on the timer. Octane wins a big one. Over to Abizi now. Last man trying to hold it down here in the sands of Gabutu. As Asties backs him up. Nade stuns. You name it. It's all coming in. They haven't got the first segment yet. Kenny on the flank. Kenny on the flank. Kenny! Cleans him up. The fight's still going. But Kenneth Williams again. He may have just won them the game. It's the MVP, the only man right now for FaZe that can find the opening, but every cross is covered. He's looking for the angle, but Envoy's Woo! got it on lock. No way, he can't get close. They said at the start of the year, don't challenge on Gavutu, but wait, it's not done yet. Asti's a busy stacking it up. First segment gone. This is not over. There's 2.9 seconds. Here comes the final hit. LA Thieves got to go. Drowser kills it there. Time's still ticking. Can Drowser do it with the pistol? No! Somehow Abizi stays alive. And now he's flying out. What is that? What was that? What did we just see? LA Thieves take the lead 3 0. The final round, what just happened? Already in a pressure cooker in the heat gets cranked up that much higher. Wait a minute. Atlanta feeling it now. I mean, if BZ, the hill's contested. He doesn't know where he's getting chowed from. He's got nades landing at his feet from every direction and forced to make some sort of a move. That was a ridiculous attempt by Atlanta. I mean, every single cross kill seemed like it was in for LA. Octane is popping massive pieces when Atlanta's trying to keep that pressure. And they truly pushed the pace, but not good enough in the end. I mean, Envoy on a map like this for the final time, we see Gabutu. I mean, he just out damaged Selium, the MVP on a map like this, literally right from the opening break. Envoy was a monster and had the glide bomb towards the tail end, at least midway through that final round to try to keep things secure. We've got to replay the final few moments. And I'll tell you what, man, I mean, the life count was one thing, the game clock is another. Kenny with an unbelievable set of kills again, just winning these fights for his team. It could have come down to a hero chance, but nerves are kicking in, man. The clock is ticking. The doomsday clock for FaZe here at Champs. They're down three maps, and I think this final play from a BZ man, I mean, it's got to be nerves, right? I, I don't think it's nerves. I'm assuming he's going to be like just tagged up and weak in one shot. I mean, even here, half 
HP, the nade's already raining through. But once RC like, somehow actually connects with the three, that's when you think it's gonna be enough. I mean, the second tick nearly gets completed, excuse me, the oh, third man. one does. Oh, my But it's God. just two players fall. I mean, getting tagged up through the wall and I don't even know. He's just waiting for the child to come in through every angle. Maybe an auto man will actually. Yeah, I don't even been. know. Maybe when he sees it contested, he thinks he has to jump out and just do something obscene. But Catch if he's printing. the lone man on point, he's going to die. Yeah, it's so hard, man. I mean, you have two players to deal with. He gets wrong. So unfortunate for Thieves, for Faze, but for Thieves, there's nothing unfortunate about it. The closest map we've seen so far in this Grand Finals. We say goodbye to Gavutu here in the Vanguard season. We say hello to Tuscan Hardpoint coming up next. As that was one hell of a control, man. I mean, you're going to be kicking yourself if you are in Atlanta phase, but hey, plenty of time still in this grand final to make that comeback. And, and look, the Tuscan hardpoint throughout stage four, LA Thieves in Atlanta have matched up against each other quite a few times. Tuscan hardpoint is one of the good maps for Atlanta. They're three and one against LA. I know those P5, P1 rotations are terrifying for Atlanta fans, but still in the head to head, they're on point. They're happy to see a Bocage, a map that is not Berlin and not Gavutu. But I think for LA Thieves, they already have a three map advantage. They got double bird bird towards the end as well on top of all the other options they have. I mean, we could have said this going in, but for fear of jinxing, but without question at this point, it is now LA Thieves series to lose. Well, you heard it here first, LA Thieves series to lose. We'll see what happens after this quick break. When we come back, Tuscan Hardpoint as this grand finals of the 2022 season continues. Don't go too far, this is the CDL. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I hope your phone's been put down for a brief moment as you scan that QR code and find out about all the goodies. MW2 on its way up for what feels like you know, a couple of weeks, but it's definitely not. But again, next event, all good things Warzone, all good things COD Mobile, Modern Warfare 2, all sorts of cool information charts. Can't wait to find out. But until then, we still have the LA Thieves taking the line of phase here in this Grand Finals. And we're almost ready to get into Tuscan Hardpoint, mate. As far as the hardpoints go, Chance, I mean, this is obviously a slightly better map for Atlanta phase, but how are you leaning? Well, look, LA have now won six maps in a row against Atlanta. The last one they lost was a Tuscan Hardpoint, but I'm just thinking this is like all of the storylines coalescing right now for this LA Thieves squad, right? You had all these questions about the team. Why is Kenny like not running an SMG? We'll finally get our answer towards the second half of the year. The number of times we're thinking JCAT might make a roster change. <laughs> They've held on and they're looking to go back to back. You have Octane, who is now frying throughout this entire tournament. Envoy's dropping bombs as well. I mean, Draza, we can't say any of his catchphrases, but you know he is loving this moment. And if you're Atlanta phase, you have fallen short in the grand finals in Vanguard so many times, and you are down 3-0. This is one of the only maps where you think you have a clear-cut advantage, they need to win this opening break. Here we go. Opening breaks, once again, incredibly important. And so far, so good for the LA Thieves. We're going to get the contest now on the point. And it's a BZ up front. Oh, Simp joins him as well. That's a big two. Four spree now for Simp. And, and quite literally the perfect start. They are on the technical bad side. You get the nade down. You get Simp to oh start my. out five and make it 6-0. and oh. No glide, but this is everything you want out of the Dang. first hill for Atlanta. No glide, no problem. Time going their way for now. Simple flank, trying to just clean up as many members of the Thieves as he can. Tuscan has been at the site of many. An exciting comeback and incredible moments here in the Champs alone. 
no doubt this one's going to deliver too. But for now, it's Atlanta Bay's firmly in control. B2 coming up now, bottom right hand side of the minimap. Oh, oh, oh. We're going over there now. Dropping on his belly and picking up the two. I mean, honestly, for how bad the opening break was, LA able to stabilize. They flip the spawns. They get that rotation over towards B2. So that is making the best of a very bad situation. But the tiny tears heating up in the feed. Problems to solve. And already the P2, oh. it's been lost. Kenny's winning gunfights, but not by the hill. That's where Atlanta Faze had posted up. Gotta make the way towards the bottom side of the hill now. Draws are finding them kills. Put in the work. Envoy's now managed to get in. Oh no, Sim cuts him down. Almost the opportunity for the break there. Here comes Octane. Guns are up. BZ takes care of one. Trades are great. Oh, Sim wins another 30 seconds on this hill and barely any time grabbed by either team. Well, I mean, hey, the final 30 seconds, that will be a great chunk of time for Atlanta to be able to get in. We talked about how clean the nades are, and there you go, another example. But it's not looking on the minimap like it will be enough. Octane's gonna get caught, another clean three in the feed in Atlanta. Little bit close to perfection on P2. Admittedly, Envoy's picking up a two-piece as well. Trying to get the ball rolling. Howdy. We saw it on the gap. Slow start from LA. Once they had a solid rotation, they never looked back. Well, here we go. They're posted up at Fountain first. So, next half point up. Envoy's force three continues. Great kills. Now, the first man in, four fates can be a beast. Can he get a little bit closer? No, draws and simple. Another fight goes down. Over to Cell now, big win up top. Envoy's on a five and he's cleaning house, cleaning everything up. Looking to get himself some streaks now as well. But the hard point has been dealt with for a moment. Envoy's now to the front line. Yeah, they don't have fire control either. So this is a very tough spot to hold the hill from. And Atlanta wastes no time. Oh my God. ringing through, a BZ flying forward. And they get the break and now they're reading these spawns as well. All four players in the back. From the back now, you have to fight your way, try to get anything towards this hard point. 20 seconds remaining on it. You also have to worry about rotation. Look at these opening gunfights. Kenny's in, wins a big one. His son Drasa backs him up, and it's obtaining the kill feed as well. Now, all over to Envoy now for the early thieves to traverse, cross map, and get himself to the bottom side of the church. That's where FaZe are, that's the next hard point. And I don't know if he's gonna try to take a long route or if he's gonna try to hit through the middle, but right now his teammates nowhere near, slowly creeping their run through the middle of the map, and you wait too long, Abizi is flanking. He's on the move, slow but sure, here he goes. Gets his first. Bottom side of church now, wide open, Kenny's in. They to there, Kenny finds a second, and already, Oh my the god. The crusade continues as Kylo Ken, he is cutting his way through him right now. I mean, they just walked straight through. It wasn't even a good start because it'd be easy was making the play, but it is a cake oh. walk into church. Outer angles covered and Kenny on a four. Come on, Draza kills all over the place. Push it, pressure. Disgusting work now as the LA Thieves look to take the lead. Let's go for a listen in. He's hitting old, bro. He's going to go P1 to old. I'm going to help him. 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 I'm going to Gotta get out of that list before Drowsy gets any more kills. God damn! Does it get any better when your only call out is, oh my god, they have taken over. Drowsy on a five, double positive. Finally, get shut down, and finally, Atlanta phase can breathe inside of the hard point. Final 20 seconds, and that dreaded P5 to P1. Well, this one might be looking sweet. Atlanta, all the time in the world to try to break this one down. This is not over yet. Excited as we're all getting. Faze are mounting the comeback. Rotation now underway. BZ will be the man of the moment for his team. Giving him spawns a little bit closer to the hill. He wants to get to that right-hand side, though. Here comes the point. It's the flank getting set up and taking their time. Atlanta trying to clear through the middle of the map. And all things covered. But LA, that's oh, the no, good start on no. the hold. That is the better finish. Uh, Octane oh, with oh. two. Envoy with two. Doesn't get better than that. It simply doesn't. It's written in the stars. Tuscan is going to go the way of the theme, surely. As they are absolutely ripping Atlanta here. Octane on a five. Octane looking for any more. As Selim has managed to get his way forward. 
to a spot that he made his own. They call it a Cellian, for God's sake. Will he be able to rip him off here? Draza, he and Octane holding him back, keeping the time flowing. I mean, hey, he doesn't have to over challenge. It is Cellian that's forced to push in, but Cellian being patient and finally trying to move. And hey, he just ends up getting traded out. Now, that is clean work for Atlanta, at least for that scrap time, but uh -oh. on the rotation. <laughs> Nobody puts Baby in a corner, but RC has left himself there again towards P2. Atlanta, it is a hill where they've had a success, and it's a hill where they need to try to lock it down. Slowly but surely now across the map we go. Octane, the first man in for the LA Thieves. Gonna be Kenny on the pinch now. Sim has to deal with Kenny. Dealt with. Front line, Octane. RC only gets one, but the trade's now down. Abizi gonna spawn church side, fly forward, fly in there, clean the hill, all down. Good for face. And now Abizi gets to take it around. He oh can my be God. the roaming slayer, and he can apply that pressure. Atlanta phase looking clean. Now you're trying to force your way through P5, but Abizi's there, two steps ahead. Oh my There's God. the next drop that tears, cranking things up on P2. He's finding those sweet kills. Time now taken away once again for Atlanta phase. They are mounting this comeback. Let's go for it, listen in. Atlanta phase. Yeah, I'm getting out. 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 I'm Okay. 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 The first time they didn't go together, the second time they did and got chopped down. Not able to get the trades, and well, Abizi now trying to do it himself, but it is LA with the teamwork, LA with the trade. Found Hill all this. Sell him now to rooftop. Catches out a flying octane. Sims getting kills as well. Breaks good. One more play left to deal with is Draza. He's in the wine barrels. He's in there. He's fighting his way out. He only gets one. Is that enough time though? Four phase to set up. They have to now weather the storm and handle the thieves. And they're getting it done! Big holds, great time now, still in the hands of Atlanta. I mean, still though, these final 15 seconds, LA Thieves, they're gonna go over the top to try to take that away. And again, for the final 15 seconds, that is a very important swing. They'll have a sizable lead going into church, and last time for LA Thieves, it was a cakewalk to the point. Sim, tags are in, gets out with his life. Will he be able to defend the faith? As here come the Thieves, two to the front door, next spot now, from above, from the heavens, as the LA Thieves here in the City of Angels, they are slowly but surely being eaten alive by those little devils. And so much better this time, the nades picking you apart, you're feeling the pressure on church, but you bounce back, you stabilize. Oh. And we are here to RC's in the comms early, he was saying, hey, we're gonna have a tied game, well now what he's gonna be saying is, we might have the lead. Potential for the lead here, 30 seconds, bottom side of church, still trying to make his way in, a force free. Catches out on voice cheeks, draws us up next. Here comes the hit. Oh, so these gets absolutely annihilated by draws. I can't even the trade. Not the way he wanted it to go. Time still now ticking in favor of Atlanta. There's a short contest chance, but it's still anyone's point. And, and look, man, we already know how this game ends. It is P5 yeah. to P1. Atlanta phase has struggled, but Selian is on a five. If you get a glide, it makes that rotation so much easier. Here we go. P5. Thieves have got control. Selly looking for the break. Red dots all over the minimap. Try to bait anything out. Try to get a kill. He's sending his teammates in down low as well. Here we go. Arsty's the first man through and he's gonna get dropped. Looking to get streaks for Cell. One more is all he needs. Oh my good God. Time still taking those thieves with the lead. He is playing so hard to get this streak. He's waiting for the bait to come through, but right now you're just losing all of this hill time. At least he gets the glide, but look at that. Four down oh, for man. LA. They're just gonna win it. And he's lined up. Here comes Faze. Here comes Faze. He catches one. Next up's going to be Draza. Draza cuts one. Over to the point we fly. Time ticking. Faze down. Faze down. The Tyrants of Tuscan once again steal another big win. And with that hard point victory now, the Los Angeles Thieves are on championship point.
And Stout haters are going to be out in full oh, force. Oh, man. That play towards the oh, end. Oh, no. All of that emphasis to try to get the glide. No openings on the map. No P5 to P1. LAD turned that into a money hill and shut them down. I mean, four maps up, four maps down. Right now, LA, they are on cruise control at champs in a grand finals. This is their year. This is nearly perfection from the LA Thieves. Nobody saw this. Nobody saw a 4-0 start. Atlanta face me. We've seen one comeback like this before. One, the Minnesota miracle. And it feels like a lifetime ago. Do Atlanta face have the resolve, man? Do they have what it takes to pull this back chance? Because this is it. This is their season in a single map. This to me is looking like revenge. I mean, the number of players on LA across the board that have been eliminated at chance by different players of phase for Kenny and Octane back in Black Ops 4, losing to the Terrors and Arsenies. Envoy's gotten bullied out by them in MW. The Terrors have run the show for years. But Thieves, they want that revenge. And at this point, 4-0 up, they can taste it. This is it. You are one map away from the first championship rings Octane drafts that Kenny and Envoy will have seen on their hands. That championship, sitting in the 100 Thieves office here in Los Angeles in front of a home crowd. One more map is all they need. And for Atlanta FaZe, for the love of God, it's a Bokaj search and destroy. You cannot live with another second place here in the season. And I mean, this is a smoke show of a series, too. I mean, the closest map was Gavu, too, but you still get defense for the round five, like 3-2 never tells the full story. Pretty dominant in both the hard points of 6-2 and the S&D. I mean, this is just, it, it's absurd. This is it. One more map is all the LA thieves need. Gen Center is loving it. We hope you're loving it at home as well. Face fans, this is it. Comeback has to start right now. Pokaj, search and destroy. The next map here in the series, potentially the final one. Will Atlanta phase find that magic something, find their special source. The Dynasty team, we've called them. Can they pull it back right here, right now? Or do the LA thieves run it all up? But let's find out after this break.
The Call of Duty League is brought to you by TeamSpeak, the official communication partner of the Call of Duty League. And AimLab, official first-person training partner of the Call of Duty League. Unleash your potential. much however miracle moments happen quite frankly all the time in this game and the tournament has been filled with game five after game five after game five a chance if not for a game five we might not be seeing the thieves there and that is it's just incredibly wild i hope someone backstage was performing cpr on atlantic because there have been no signs of life for a year where the competition is that tight i mean this is just it's a thrashing it really is a thrashing so far. Not over yet, though, because so Troy coming up before that. Our scuff play of the game. It's the father-son duo. It's Kenny and Draza picking up nothing but three kills here on Gavutu. Hey, and this was the only opportunity it has felt like this entire series where Atlanta, like, we're in the midst of actually winning a map and getting close. But, I mean, it is Kenny picking them apart initially. It is Draza staying alive, biding his time, waiting for the reinforcements to come through to make that final push. And, I don't know if that push towards the end is the one that broke Atlanta, but again, I mean, they have just gotten picked apart four to nothing right now and one map away for all four players on that stage, their first ring. This is an unbelievable performance out of the LATs. They have come together so well as a team in the latter half of this season. No one saw this coming, no one. I gotta say though, when I saw Kenny with the bandana walking out, <laughs> I don't know, man. It seemed like that was just the, the old nod to back in the day. Bandana Kenny, it's different. But this is to the cage. I mean, FaZe certainly in hard point, a little bit less so in the s &D, but it's a new look. It's a different map. It is close quarters combat. And we remember the last time they played against LAT, it was a 6-0. So if there is any map Atlanta wanted to be on, it's Bogash. This is a phase playground. A map this size, let the terrors run amok. Draza, bagged up heavily. We go into this search and destroy. And none of these walls are safe. You can get pieced up through all of them. But that is a couple nades going that direction. And you hear the explosions, but no connection. All four players alive. They crack the door into Granny's, then out inside the site. Sim. He's diligently checking these corners, but he's not going to find a whole lot here. Thieves have played this very tight, they've played this fast. Look at the patience. Hello. Wait a minute. Look at Wait the a patience. Minute. How did he do that? How did Draza pull off two? He picked the bar. Both the terrors. 2v1. What a round so far. Then you know Draza's challenge. I mean, literally sprinting at Selium, trying to run for his life, but. He's gonna fall, and just like the Berlin, it's RCDs in the 1v2. 30 seconds, though. He just has to hold him back. Oh my god, the timing. Kenny's here. Gunny's up. Kenny eviscerates him. A little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. All good times for LA Thieves. From the kickoff classic, these guys were laughing and having fun. Even when things got tough, still having fun in a game like Vanguard. And here they are, worked on it the entire year. Five more rounds, world champions. Five more rounds. This phase still come out so cold here on this championship Sunday. Comeback time has to start right here, right now. Let's see how it goes now for the LA Thieves on defense. Eyes towards the middle of the map. Kenny eats a nade. That's fine for now. We're going towards A with the bomb for face. And every single time I see LA Thieves nading somebody, there's the follow-up. There was no follow-up on Kenny. That is just a nade wasted. Plenty of map control for LA. Clearly, FaZe are going to be working this A site and leave RC's back. But number four, number four on. Oh, he's found the opening. Uh, found the flank, but if BZ reads him, shuts him down for the first blood. Draws it now on towards the site he goes. Surely FaZe make the move. All three of them going around the corner now. All three of them. Whoa, my word. Catches one. Trades are good. It's all good for FaZe. 3v1. What can Octane do? Times this right. Here he goes. Sees a little bit ahead. That's that. Surely not. FaZe get around. 
And one of those moments, I mean, I don't know how Abizi does it. I guess you expect Envoy on the flank, but that is almost with zero intel, getting the timing perfect to shut Envoy down and get the first blood, get the conversion. Phase down, but not out. Just such a long way to go. One round apiece here in game five. LA Thieves have to be feeling so, so comfortable right now. What a cushion they've built for themselves here in this championship match. There's a pretty st heavy stack over towards A on defense for Atlanta. I see automatons the whole way down, and hey, four automatons on the map for Atlanta. They're looking for the range gunfights, and the nades coming through. Octane will be tagged Ooh. up, and wait, Kenny will trade it himself. 3v3. Still keeping that play alive towards the A-bomb site. They've got options now as they make their way across maps. They've got spotted out. Damage dealt. Are you going to double back, though? That's the question. Draws in out trying to clear out Granny's and make sure it's a safe site to plant. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's perfect. More, more behind you. It's free. It is absolutely free, but he does get traded. And they're thinking about it. No time wasted straight on B. No, 2v2. Straight on the bomb site we go. Here we have it. Arsties with the opener. Selling around the corner. Easy reads. No problem. Faze will take the lead. Days are lucky for that one for that round. If Draza takes a little bit more time to check all the corners, he might spot out Cell as well and at least get out with his life. But they get the trades and they get the snapper. Don't forget, guys, enter for a chance to win the Rams VIP game day experience for the season kickoff. Don't worry, we're coming, don't worry. Rams.com forward slash CDL. Call of Duty timing at its finest. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. And for FaZe, they need a little bit of that luck. They certainly do. FaZe sitting at 2-1. Envoy oh, yet to get on the board, as is Octane. He's had his fair share of donuts in the season. He doesn't want any more. Minute 20. Fly forward, and it's a hot round already. We're in. We are going for it. Draws the man to get the plan started. We'll see if this corner works from that side. Uh, on offense, it's a little bit different, but it's easy in a precarious position, and... He gets some tags, no first blood. Yeah, Kenny looking for an angle towards the middle of the map, but all these players just forced to run. Kenny looking oh. for the child. He's one shot. He's being hunted, taken care of, and the play has been made. It's the team up the phase right there. Bomb plant towards B. They've got man advantage for now, but that could change real quick. Asti stays alive. Sully is now in a sweet spot to get a few, but no Octane reads it. They read him, but still 3v3 to get the map spread. Arsides is so far away from the action. Maybe to set the trap, so he's got to get this trade. But now he's in the 1v3. The first trade is in with 30 seconds left. 30 seconds on the clock. Arsides now has to play this perfectly. Here comes a hit. Finds one. Octane, the last man alive. Back and forth they go. It's a good old-fashioned 1v1. He drew that kill cam so hard. Now Octane just going for the chase. And Arsides has the high ground. And he clutches. The 1v3 when his team needs him the most. He delivers. Daddy Alec. They've called him for the longest of times. The calm voice in the hot moments. And the man to rely on for the clutch. Make no mistake, that is a massive round. One that nearly collapsed after they got the first blood. Now you got our cities on a four, and for the man that often is left in those situations, you love to see it when he delivers. Nades up. Coordinated effort. Oh, what an angle from Kenny. First blood. Abizi with the fadeaway. Envoy straight inside. Sim, what a kill that was indeed. Tags all over the place. Draws is now looking to get himself into the fight. And that's bomb down as well. So bomb down and bottom grandma. It's oh. going to take a long time to get to an octane. Barely able to get away, but I think Abizi maybe trying to pour on that pressure through the P2 side. Always willing to make moves. He's not careful though, he's getting caught out. Octane, oh, a little tip of his cap just spotted there. He's gonna back on up. FaZe pushing the pressure. Asties catches himself another. A five spree now here in map five. There's the man advantage, and that bomb still yet to be collected. And Octane hoping a kill just falls into his lap, but Abizi, as soon as he gets the map control, he will kill that pace. They're working it slowly. Time ticking. As Octane, every single step of the way, he has evaded phase. Can he do it again? Damage dealt. He's gone. Kenny makes it that bit more interesting now. This is a technical 1v3, but surely. The BZ nasty. Don't let this happen. And another decisive round from phase. They sit at 4-1. That's a big one. 
They are on cruise control now. And again, RCDs, I mean, literally from the start of the year, we saw it at a couple majors where the teammates start to struggle. He will be that guy. He will put the team on his back. And I mean, you are down 4-0. No better time than this. He's got the glide. A couple more rounds, all you need for Atlanta phase to start building that momentum here in this grand finals. An offensive round now. Glide bomb extremely important here on a map like Bokaj. Not a whole lot of places to hide. Selim's opening blood. Here we go. Pulling it straight in. Oh, and they're going to have all the intel. Octane's the man that's going to get isolated. You know he hits the bottom tunnel. So you try to curve it, doesn't connect. But now number five, you got Simp rotated over. Maybe just try to set up the trap. But Faze don't get much off of this, except for RC's on the flank doing it all. Oh, here we go. On boy points one. Rat tat tat there with the MP40 ringing out across the inside of Granny's bomb planted now. It's a 1v4. Can he get this one done? One man down, three to go. Phase. Nerves of steel, 5 1, map point. I talk about happy to be back on Bocage. Yeah. RCDs right now is just everything. You get the information off the glide and you just set up the trap on the player inside of the tunnel. He delivers, and Abizi able to collect two as well. And finally, some life from Atlanta Phase. 5-1 lead. Man, they jolted right back here. Eight and two for Asties. He's been running the show. Thieves now, offensive round. What can they do? A rip off five straight rounds to just get the map win and get the tournament. It'd be amazing. Let's see if they can get it. It's the full send. Hey, just be aggressive. Try to four hit through the outside of the map. And see if you can get the kills this way. Trade's coming through. Sent back down at 20 HP. But a dangerous angle to Chow. They're oh. going for it. They connect. LA Thieves with the man advantage. Thieves are all in, though. They can't back out now. They have to see this through. Kenny's there. Gunny's up. And they're just walking their way through. FaZe have been ripped apart man by man. Asti's now in the 1v3. 1v2. Fast hit, he's moving, 1v1. Envoy now, the last name on his hit list. Daddy Alec, what a bounce back from FaZe. Got to be feeling good after that one, 6-1 on Bocage. LA Thieves had absolutely nothing. Another quick look at this 1v3. I mean, that is just absolutely godlike. Perfect read, perfect aggression to take down Kenny, and then perfect patience to wait for the final kill to fall into your lap. Two 1v3s in one game, back against the wall. RCDs simply built different. 6-1. Yeah, as cool <laughs> as you like. Doesn't matter, I mean, how down they are currently in the tournament. But that was a brilliant bounce back there from Atlanta Face. 6-1 of Bokaj. It's still tournament point, however, for the LA Thieves. But hey, you needed that. Sorely, sorely needed that here in the series. And you truly can go back through the year and see any times Atlanta end up taking a loss, end up in the loser's bracket. Coming into the next day, RCDs often is that guy. And obviously, this is a very long run Atlanta would have to make. We got double burr burr. We already know how Traza feels about that. So there will be zero shortage of confidence on the LA side of that stage. But maybe just another Bocage SD that not too fond of. 11 and 2 Frosty's there. That's 1400 damage. Incredible work from him. Two 1v3 clutches. That's exactly what you need out of your team, Captain. Leading from the front, indeed. 6 1. Got to be feeling great after that one. Now we roll as quickly as possible into that next map for FaZe. It's momentum. It's keep it going. It's Berlin control. Hey, you're, yeah, well, it's double Burr Burr. You already know how difficult one of those is going to be. Berlin hardpoint has been the auto veto for Atlanta FaZe just about this entire year. They've been playing a lot more at this tournament, so maybe they feel like they've been getting stronger, but now they are going to need it just to get the win. And on top of the number of problems that Atlanta had to deal with, even that Tuscan S&D LA Thieves, the last few times they've played them, have just picked them apart. A 6-4 win, a 6-2 win. So this is the, the better half of the, like the, the map set right now for LA. And they already are just one more map away from being world champions. They got to be feeling good on the stage. Got to be feeling great indeed. We're going to go to a very quick commercial break, friends. This tournament ain't over just yet. We can now go to Berlin Control. The final time here in the 2022 season. Will the LA Thieves walk away with a dub? Or can Atlanta phase continue this historic comeback? We'll be right back.
We are back here in our grand finals here of the 2022 Call of Duty League season. Vanguard has been full of it, man. Absolutely full of it. We're going to take a quick look now at another exciting moment here, Chance, from our grand finals. No shortage of 1v3s so far in this grand finals. Obviously, Arsenis has collected two in, I mean, dominant fashion. Like, the ice is there. He's killing everybody. And while the one that Envoy had uh, is a more typical one where you have to be sneaky, you have to find that perfect <laughs> timing towards the end. But this is the situation. It was somewhat of an awkward setup and play for LA in the post plants, where obviously Atlanta taking all of that time to try to clear everything out. Gets the timing perfectly, pounces on the bomb, gets the kill, and clutches the one versus three. I guess both of the S&Ds have been dominant for one side or the other, but there has been absolutely no shortage of the clutch factor. So that was your game field tactical play. LA Thieves fans certainly loving what they're seeing thus far. 4-1 is the score here in the Grand Finals. It's first to five, so one more is all you need. Atlanta Faze now prepared to go once again into Berlin. This time we're playing control. Two zones, capture them, or eliminate your enemies' 30 lives. It's first of three rounds, and if the Thieves do it, they win the whole damn thing. And I already know when we hear the comms from LA after this series, whatever directions it goes, when they're loading into Berlin, Draza is running his mouth. He is getting his team hype, and understandably so. 11-5 and five on Berlin control, including a win against Atlanta Faze, a dominant 3-0 on this map. I mean, LA have been, what, the cleanest team in the game on defense. They will shut you down at either zone. Make no mistake, if you drop the ball, you go down four lives once, they might just run you over. For Atlanta Faze, working on a deep reverse sweep. Here we go. It's only been done once before. Atlanta Faze have really got to go bigger than they've ever been here on Berlin. Onto the A zone, we've already managed to hit. And the Thieves are committing, they're in. Here's the contest. Opening salvo of fire, and it's a good set of trades either way. Draws it from the stairwell, taken care of. Varsity's on the flank, there you go. All safe and sound, Atlanta Faze. Atlanta Faze done their homework, knew what they needed to do off the opening break, read the flank coming through outer perfectly, and now plenty of pressure oh, on the map. Oh, oh, oh. The, the timing. Perfect corner, and that he does get traded out, but still plenty of pressure on oh. defense. Draza, though, with clean reads. No flanks coming through. LA Thieves flying towards that B zone now, slowly but surely capturing that one segment down. It's a two-man stack. Increases the pace at which the capture progresses. Closing sortie now. Raza shuffling around. Here comes the counterattack to face. They're trying to get their way through the top, and then they're making moves. Trades are coming through. BZ on the flank, and Man. at least able to take one. So B not quite secured. The final Whoa. tick, there you go. It is through the SMG's deliver. Minute and 45 to work with. That is plenty of time for LA. 20 lives. Atlanta Faze are doing their very best to whittle down now as the LAPs continue to throw themselves at that Abe zone. They slow things right down now in Berlin. Simmons a big one on the inside. Pressure is on. Pinch is there. Faze still running the kill feed. Uh, Jaza finally at least clearing out the back side of the map. So you're trying to push up for the train control. Selim though is going to be going on a flank. So your opportunity to make moves. This might be the guy to shut you down, has eyes on Octane, and is going to be behind the entire team. His teammates are winning the gunfight. Oh. He does get traded. But at least for FaZe, you still have the train control, desperately trying to hold on. Scary situation. You let Kenny get out as well. So Kenny's now on the move. Oh, he's quite selling himself. Selling saw him, though. What a time that was with a wrap. Shots from Envoy as well. Kenny catch any more from this position. Sop and FaZe up! <laughs> Wow, what a win from Abizi. Oh, baby, one HP is all he needs. Too easy for him and try to get some of that momentum. He's on a force free, by the way. So talk about the most important player that LA Thieves need to shut down. You get past him, you get that train oh my control. God. You can make moves, but if not, you're getting picked apart. That's the teamwork right there from Atlanta Face. 17 lives to the seven of LA Thieves. 25 seconds on the clock. Thieves have made it out. They're crossing over Dockside now. As Atlanta Faze, they are tightening their hands around them. Flying through mid-map now. LA Thieves looking for anything. Abizi still the terror on Berlin. I mean, it might be spawn kills on both sides, though, because while Abizi's in the back, LA Thieves are making moves They're towards in. the point. They're you in. stray too far away. They're it in. only takes one. It only takes one. Kenny wins the fight. Oh, my God. The map man just turned on his head. Thieves are in. Thieves are on the point. First segment gone. Draza finds Boom! No! But you're still getting the point captured. No one from Faze is nearby. No one from Faze. I cannot believe it! The contest is there! Abizi! Abizi! What? It could not have been closer! Draza's not done just
rounds yet. Our season's in. Face win the round. And I gotta nah, say, son. nah, son. And that, honest to God, is looking like LA slowing down with the gunny just a little bit. Envoy, world star. Draza, world star. Admittedly, the second one was a lot closer, but those are gun fights that if you win, I mean, you pull off that miraculous round when you are down by lives, but not as on point as they once were. And Atlanta Faze taking advantage of that fact. 1-0 lead, their turn to attack. Colleen has been a far more sort of even map when it comes to who wins the attack in the defending round. So quite literally, friends, anything can happen. Atlanta Faze now on offense. Kills were fantastic in that first time round. We're still on a three spree for Austin. Selling right now, basically just buying time for his teammates. He's roaming the outer portion of this map while the action going down over towards B. So B's keeping the pressure on. Train control, nothing slipping through, but obviously you'd see what direction Atlanta looking to go. Oh, oh. Trying to clear out. Two ticks to B through. Those two safeties captured. Big win from a BZ. Looking to close up the last one. Phase. Decisive work here on the B zone. Looking to add that extra minute, Kenny. Checks every possible avenue. Uh, big win. Now the pressure on. You're still going to see that B zone captured, but trying to stop the sprees. That's the goal now. And you obviously have Kenny. He gets free range just because Draza posted on the bottom side of the map. That's where FaZe never had that pressure. They weren't manipulating the spawns, and that's why you saw that opening. But LA trying to make sure they keep that door closed. Players roaming the outside of the map, and RCD is right now in the power position. Good luck with that gunfight. Two from the top is perch. Jeez. Alexander is flying forward. Envoy, though, answers right back in the feed. For Atlanta phase now, trying to get out of your spawn is one thing. Draza is posted up. He's going to force those players to appear at the top side of the map when they respawn. A more difficult journey towards that zone. And, and until they take care of Draza, the opening's never going to be there. Simp looking for him. He's coming from the top, bro. But Kenny there to help his duo. Wow. So you just have the bottom side of that map locked down, and RCDs can look for spawn kills, but it's not like that zone is open. Oh, oh yeah. Octane's now trying to stop the flow of reinforcements from Atlanta Phase now into the fight. And as RCDs is in, big win. Great teamwork once again from the LA Thieves. Atlanta Phase are trickling one by one, and these staggered hits are getting them nowhere. You got to deal with Envoy. Yeah, all that time spent trying to go on the full flank, and you just die instantly. So much time wasted. And it is just too clean right now of a defensive setup. Atlanta, they have to take their time to try to break this down. Time. 50 seconds is all they've got. And my good God. That means he finally breaks that curse. They've just not been able to get out of spawn. Not been able to do a thing. And again, because of Draza, they are just spawning so far away. And now he is running at you. You got a busy, I mean, just spinning in circles, trying to look any direction to find these kills. But even where Draza start making moves, Octane, the funnel system, back in that bottom side spawn. Oh, my God. I mean, there is just nowhere to go. I was lip reading Draza there, and he didn't say anything nice. 22 seconds remaining. LA Thieves are in full control. 16 to 8. But Atlanta only need a few set of kills, go. and they could be in. This could be it. As Envoy now, trying to slow him down. We'll simply make the read here. This is an imperative moment. Find the kill, you're on the point. Envoy is about to go absolutely massive. Last man on the point, here comes the fight, it's Octane. The final 10 seconds, it is done, Atlanta phase. Not enough, they could not contend with Envoy on Berlin. It takes you a minute and a half to go for this setup just to get it broken down by a single flank. Oh man. Defense on point for LA Thieves. Let's go. As we have come to expect, I mean, you have Salian dishing out the damage. You got RCDs picking up pieces. But neither team able to get an offensive win. And LA Thieves, second chance to try to win that round. 1-1, one, one. here in control. Defense again for Atlanta Phase. Now for the LA Thieves, we saw how close they came to winning that offensive round. Totally different looks at this time, flying in towards A. How diddly doodly. BZ catches it, trades out immediately. Danny's looking to make moves. He's by himself though. I mean, he's got the AR coverage and the presence behind him, but no actual pressure on the map. 
in LA. They are trying to force this through A. They are looking for this clean four down to pound to BZ. Getting caught out towards mid. That's to their way. It's a flank coming through from Envoy. So trying to make the play happen. Big win on a cell flying into the point. Here we go, baby. A second. Oh my good Kenny on the back line. No, can't get anymore. You still holding it down though. 25 to the 23. You've still got man's on point. Looking out for the flank. As the Lanta face fan out and now try to take care of this offensive tack. Sim through the front door. Octane stack it up. Cleans him up. No problem. Here comes the other half of the Terrors in the form of a BZ. He finds at least one, but the catcher is still on. Second segment gone. And it's only two players for Atlanta. They are chalking this up, but Selium just gets traded. They are forced to rotate to B and pull off the impossible. Something that has only happened twice this year is the defensive win by defending the B zone. In Atlanta, oh boy, do they need it. They need it now. They have 18 lives left. LA Thieves 22 to throw at B. They're gonna take their time indeed. Let's see what you are made of, face. The kills keep going that way. That B zone smack bang in the middle of the map. That is their fortress. Thieves can't get close. Well, they've got the top side of the map right now on lock. Hunting players down, keeping it secure. And they're getting all the kills, but I tell you, it is only a single moment that LA needs. And they will blow this offensive round wide out in the open. But if you keep this P2 control of BZ, this has to be his home. We've never seen a setup like this here in Vanguard. Oh, BZ loses it. Envoy's in. He can potentially start the capture. Now you're going to start drawing the aggression of the defenders. As FaZe have got to move to take care of business. This is the Thieves' chance. They're just looking for these kills. They're getting the intel, but Sim getting out of dodge. There is. The pressure They're on in. the point. Envoy with the first strike. Octane, the next one is in. They're in. They're stacking it up. There's two of them inside the point now. Those zones are going to disappear. Kenny with one. Here come the FaZe fans flying forward. You've got to get the job done. Running out of time. Running out of chances. This could come down to it. It's Kenny again. Kenny again. Explosive nature of this map. We are alive for a moment more. Yeah, as good as their nades have been, the double team kill just going to be a massive setback. Atlanta in the midst of doing the near impossible, but only one more tick to go. LA taking their time to make this break. Two plays from the bottom side of the window. Sim, is he going to be overwhelmed? He is. Abisi's up next. Here comes the capture. Abisi trying to fight his way through this one, selling from the outside. Great work from Atlanta. Here comes Abisi again. Catches the kills. 1v1. Austin stays alive. It's so to face. And they got to cap it. It's also, I mean, it's just a sprint to the hill right now. You got a player taking a full flank for LA, but they are getting picked apart. Atlanta is holding strong. Final 10 seconds. History will be made once again. Not many folks could do it. Atlanta face proving that they are worth more. Final seconds. No one's there. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Austin is once again. Go. No, it's done. It's done. Try, try, try again. The thieves break in. And Asties couldn't get it done again, man. It was so hard the first time round. And this is it. One more round. A Herculean effort from Atlanta. Not good enough. LA on the map that they love. Trying to get it done on Berlin. Around a defensive way. That four rings to the collection. Here we go. All you have to do is hold that line, LA Thieves. You're the champs. Phase. It's time to break in. It's a great start. First segment of B taken care of. Good work, Atlanta. Atlanta right now trying to feel things out, and Selian might try to be the guy to open the door because of BZ piercing his way through the middle of the map. So they're looking for any opportunity they can get to make moves towards Zay. And might be the start of BZ on a three, but he is Whoa. by himself. So it is the slow capture on B, but they are doing a hell of a job of just being annoying. This is a big run. So gets themselves out of spawn. B is finished. Two minutes. 21 seconds, 26 lives for Atlanta Face to stay alive. Trying to hold on defense though. LA Thieves, this could be it. A flank coming through for Simp and tags are coming through. The trades are in, the teamwork from LA on point. So far the defense holds strong. Stacking up, they're not letting this go. Last man up for Faze is going to be Selian. Asties keeps him in that safe as he can. 
Oh, I like this reposition. Envoy fighting his way forward. Top team, great coverage. Thieves hand in hand. Thick as thieves as they march their way out of the A zone. And they are trying to find it here. Envoy with another big one. They line up, but it doesn't even matter. The Gunny now on point. You're trying to flank. You get red. Drives it, trying to dance around with them. Two players fall. Simp is able to pick up the two piece. That's only to open up the front. No flanks coming through. They're going to have to force it in through train. Guns up. Draws are on the side door. Octane watching the long. And here comes the streaks from Asties. Early investment, just trying to soften them up as best he can. Doesn't catch a single thing. Here we go. Guns are up. Two through the outside now. Trying to hit the flank. Envoy making the reads. As the final push is now. Can they catch anyone? Trades out. Envoy gets brought down, and now you're on the point. That's three. That's three now. Draza might be in a situation to just to try to catch these spawners. Chip away at these players while your teammates come up on spawn, but that's already one tick through, and Draza, they're already passed. All three are in. All three are in. Second segment gone. Sim now trying to hold it down. Hold the line. Hold it down. LACs are in. The contest is there. Arcee's last man. Wiped off the face of the planet. One more minute of survival for LA Thieves. They got the information on the cross, but Jaws is gonna fall. The pressure in through train. Selly may be thinking about working a flank. 50 seconds to go. 12 lives for the LA Thieves. 14, Atlanta Bay. Selly is starting to burn him out. Will him down. It's clean kills. That's the third. Forward you now go, Draws out. Wins a massive gunfight. Can have easy catch him out. Flying, fighting, doing what they can. The point is now available. 35 seconds left. We're in. We're on it. Hold the line now. Abizi trying to find a kill. Gets himself one. The stack is on. As Abizi may have just sealed the deal. The contest. It's still going. Draza somehow does it. Final line for LA. And yeah, for 4B now, make it 3v8. Three players trying to survive. And Atlanta are taking their time. They're setting up the pinch. A BZ on the flank. They get one attempt. Gotta take their time. Gotta take their chances. B gotta go. 15 seconds. LA Thieves. There's three of them left. Envoy on the flank. Envoy. Oh my word. Into the point we now go. Kenny drops. It's not over yet. Not yet. Final round. In the control. And two teams with incredible composure. In a moment like that for Atlanta Phase, not to jump the gun, to set up the pinch perfectly, to take your time to make the trades. Make no mistake, these guys are on a mission to make this comeback. It'll be Atlanta for offense for this final round. We already know their strategy. Leave Selim over towards train just to be annoying. You're happy to take that slow B capture. LA Thieves uh -oh. mostly giving it away. They got to make sure they keep it closed, right? Uh -oh. Sam working his way through the middle of the map. Atlanta, if they get the one opportunity, you already know they will pounce. But the defense, at least on this A side of the map, so far holding strong. Trying to true. Selium. So slippery. So slippery. Sheds his skin and makes his way in towards the next point. We'll stop the clock on B, though. First segment done. Arsties now. Spots at least Raza. Might be able to catch a couple more here. This could set up the play, but he has to get these kills quickly. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna get That's one. Okay. That's That's two, down. two down. And this is so many phase players surrounding the oh. same point. Kenny's on point. Octane is straight off spawn. You managed to clean him up for now. A sweep at a parkour, and Sim has managed to somehow cut the reinforcements straight in half. Draza now making his way out. You take the outside route of fire. You're now going to hit the stairs. Draza gunned. Arsty's alive. First segment gone. They're trying to set up the flank. It is on, boy. Trying to set up the flank, but he gets caught. The read is in. You now have to force your way through the front. Can you, Draza? They're able to pick up the couple. Last man in point. Yes. And Land of Fate are going oh. to fall. Sit down. And what a work. That's the final bullet from Kenny's gun clicked. I let out an egg. Not over yet. They're going to finish the job on B. And Atlanta phase have got 21 lives and two minutes. As they have looked so lethal on offense. Atlanta did it once. They need to do it again. Almost the exact same situation. But the difference now is that bottom side of the map. Oh, they right. might be back in this stranglehold where they are spawning so far away. Plenty of time to work with. And also, keep in mind, LA are massively down on lives. So much time for Atlanta to play TDF. Atlanta can slay them out. They find those kills, we're good. Envoy and Draza in the feed. 
Unfortunate timing from Selium. 12 lives for LA Thieves, 14 Atlanta Faze. A minute third. They have to settle down and take their time. They are getting wiped. They are not getting the trades. They have to go for the team push. RCD striking with a pick, and you already got a BZ in position on the flank. They're making moves. They're making moves. A BZ's in. Right where he wants to be. One found on the flank. Straight onto the point he's going to soar, but it's a sneaky move. Drops it goes down. Now we're flying. Now we're cooking with gas. Inside a train cleaned up. Fly. Go, phase, go. This is it. Stay alive. Keep the kills coming. I'll take through the front. Sit. Can't catch anymore. Oh my god, the pet's out! And face by the hairs on their chinny chin chins. They huffed and they puffed and they blew the LA Thieves house right down. One Berlin down and one Berlin to go for Atlanta. Down but not out. And what a master class of a game from Abizi. The 40 bomb with backs against the wall. Unreal damage from Cell and back-to-back -back offensive rounds. Atlanta Faze, they got some fight. Hey, you gotta say as well, I mean, Sip and Ibizi had such low impact in the first, sort of like three maps of this finals. And just like that, Tyler Farris doing exactly what he does best, which is be a colossal. Pain in the ass. And, and it was the same story. I mean, he has taken the long route to go on these flanks to just to soften the blow towards Train. But I mean, if you were thinking about the first round LA had on defense, they lived inside a train. It never got broken down in the final two rounds. They felt out the way that LA was going to be playing on defense. They let it be easy. Be the guy to search and destroy and make that move. He found his target, he delivered, and again, I'm in a 40 bomb in a moment like that. Unreal, that is world champion composure. We're not done yet. <laughs> but in control, we close the chapter. And Atlanta Faze stay alive. Tuscan search and destroy next. And that Tuscan search and destroy, LA Thieves have beaten Atlanta the past two times they have played them. Once is 6-4, once is 6-2, and I mean, BZ was just popping off. I think the last time he was on this map went three in 11, so he has gotten shut down before. He's gonna be the player I'm paying a great deal of attention to for Atlanta. He can have success on Tuscan. That'll be the path for Atlanta. This is it, another map that Atlanta face sorely need, and it's still tournament point. All here for the LA Thieves. I cannot believe what we are seeing, Chance. Neither can you. Here we go to another quick commercial break. We come back. We're playing Tuscan Search and Destroy. It's exciting. Grand Finals continues here in the Galen Centre live in Los Angeles.
Amazon Prime members get free games every month and a slew of free content for your favorite games like Call of Duty. Claim yours now at gaming.amazon.com. We find ourselves staring down the barrel of another search and destroy here, but we're going to Tuscan this time in our grand finals, which is only getting hotter. LA Thief still maintain the lead as Atlanta phase over surely one half at a time. They somehow pull out the goods there on bullet control. I mean, look, they are trying to work on this comeback. You get old Tuscan SD where I know LA Thieves to pick them apart, but they're going to be happy in this game mode. But my cause for concern and something I'm going to be paying a great deal of attention to, one is Ibizi. Got shut down last time these guys played just a few days ago. And then two, the Nade. You know a guy like Selim is going to be top fire. He's going to be top church, living inside those power positions. LA Thieves have spent a great deal working on and talking about the grenades. Looking for those first bloods, looking for those advantages. By way of explosion or by way of gunny, you know they're looking for every little edge. It was the LA Thieves so long ago that showed us so many incredible nade spots on this very map and mode against this exact team. Atlanta Face had absolutely no answer to the precision <laughs> or frankly the uh, volume of stuff getting thrown their way. And LA Thieves for SD as well. They have been loving it throughout stage four. They were perfect in this tournament in the game mode. So they lost on Bocage. Atlanta was the team to first take them down. But to pull it off on Tuscan, not an easy task. In Atlanta, they are playing aggressive, Abizi flying and frying. He was looking to make a move. Mr. First Blood. There it is. And he gets it. Tried and true. Octane with the back on up. Pick up where his teammate fell. That becomes an open lane now for Atlanta Phase to play forward. Now, will they account? Oh! What? Well, the BZ will see you later. And we'll make our way forward now. An envoy. Yeah, he'll take that for oh, free. Oh, no. No problem. That's a bad one. That's 3v2. Well, now RCDs, I mean, he's been clutch for the 1v3s. Now he's got Sim to help him out. But you talk about a tilt worthy moment at a time like this. Shadows, hold it, guns it. Asties makes it a 2v2. And if you clutch this, that all goes away, but the challenge through Church, LA Thieves are grouped up together, Sim now trying to chase, uh -oh. but now he gives away his position. You need this 1v2. Shoot, shoot, Sim shot, and now Sim's in trouble. Ah, it's the round! And that's such a tough one. A BZ falling off hurt and, and so bad. Dude, I mean, look, if your teammates clutch this up, it all goes away, or hey, maybe oh, it's no. good vibes. He's got a smile ah. on his face, so. A tillworthy moment, maybe <laughs> they can have the resolve. It's fine. But you play with Clay for too long, and it will get you. Things are starting to get real hot here in the Galen Center. I mean that literally and figuratively. Thieves with a 1-0 lead thus far. Here we go now. Offensive round for them. And this might be a square. This happened against Surge, where you actually had phase. They just fly for the right. punch in the mouth. Welcome to all three. First blood again. The whole team there, though. You're going to leave Asties on the other side of the map again. Tried and true. He's going to hold this one down. Anyone makes their way forward. And Envoy is taking his sweet time with the crawl. And it's all four grouped up together. I, I mean, how do you make this read? And now, honestly, Atlanta Phase can pour on the pressure. Go for the trade. Here we go. Envoy's in. Slide forward. Bad timing. Great trades. Draws is there. Little prattle of gunfire, but you're still a man down. Octane and Draza versus Sim. Asti Sicilian. I mean, they're just grouped up. Such like a, a tight wolf pack roaming around. And now you give away Draza's intel. They send in Sim Dang. for the kill, but it's Arsides that collects. Uh -oh. <laughs> and Octane, no kill there for the 1v3, tagged up, back down, forced away with no bomb. Atlanta looking to tie up the odds. Hey, it's not impossible, 30 seconds to go. LaRue cracks a window. And in a moment, he'll be dead. There we go. Atlanta phase, tie it up. Textbook phase, ruthless. Ruthless aggression in this opening hit. Yeah, she's perfect. Knows the timing as well. Uh, I mean, again, that is a little bit of information. That is a good play call. And you know his teammates are going to be there for the trade. But two rounds in, BZ two for two. And as long as he is staying on the map, he is something fierce. 
LA Thieves on defense this time around. See what FaZe do with that bomb in hand. Of course, the first time around, Abizi took a tumble. This time, they're lining it up seemingly perfectly. And they fly through mid. Tags in, let Envoy have it. He's backed on up, but again, this is a lot of mid-map pressure now from the LA Thieves. Yeah, they're happy to play the slow game, though. You have Atlanta, they do this all the time, and actually getting Grizzly together, it's gonna be a P5 hit. Right now, Kenny, the lone man on defense. Kenny, gun up, son, here they come! Through the door, tags are in! He fades away, he doesn't get a single kill, but he doesn't die. Selium, though, will. Here comes the pressure. Thieves hold the line. As fast and furious they go, Atlanta phase managed to battle their way through. And they have bloodied and battered two members now of the LA Thieves. There's only two left. Oh, oh that's my. the angle, though. He catches him and Bomb is not down. This could be the ace for Octane and a one versus three. And he knows he's got a guy near Bomb. He's popped in silence. He's so quiet. He's so sneaky. A busy tag backed up. Watch for the second player. Once again, Atlanta phase. Nerves of steel. I, I have never seen a better sign for a team than when you lose the first round because a player falls off the map and they just laugh it off. The resolve, the composure, I mean, they were down 4-0 in this series. Now they are fighting back, and they are fighting with energy, making play calls. Hits through P5. The tides have not turned yet, but now they're starting to be the ones to apply that pressure. And this is a confidence we have not seen from Atlanta Phase in quite some time. I mean, yesterday. But thus far in this Grand Finals, they've ripped off two maps. For again, it is four players stacked up in the middle of the map, <laughs> the opportunity to make moves. I mean, they are trying to gun these players down, but it's aggression on aggression. And Envoy responds. They get the first blood. They get Kenny out past. They got black control. They got green control. But they lost an Envoy. Thieves were in for a moment. They've still got pressure on towards B, but here comes the human conga line. Atlanta phase. Forward through the bottom side of P5, here they go. They're running this together. Thieves are never gonna read this. They're never gonna have the guns up in time to take care of all of them. And this is the way Atlanta Phase are playing it. One by one, holding hands. Well, okay, dead body. He gave it up, but it doesn't seem to matter. Draws is heavily tagged. Here come the remainder of Atlanta Phase. Play is now on. No going back now. No turning around. Forward, fly, directly on top of that bomb site. It's just such a tight setup for both of these teams. No flanks coming through. BZ may be thinking about it, and you're hopping off the bomb as well. These feel like they cannot get this plant. They are looking for picks, and they are running out of time, and Octane needs to run for his life. <laughs> okay, BZ, big win. Now you have the beeline across the map, directly towards the A-bomb site. Less than 20 seconds. Surely you know this is on. Octane's still playing that back corner. And he's planning in the safe spot, which means it's tough to clutch for. A BZ looking for the kill, gunned. but he gets gone. 2v2. 2v2, Octane! He springs into life, and now, selling him in the 1v2. He's got to bring them both down and defuse the bomb. And Octane is gone. I mean, you got to go to Chase, but you're going to have to fly if you're selling, and you're going to be oh, loud man. while you're doing it. And you're watching the cross, and Octane taking his time. Taking his time. Draza backs up. 20 seconds now. Selium check every corner possible. Checks the first. Less than 20 now to go. And Draza into the fight. He'll take a bit of time. He'll make something happen here, because again, he has no idea exactly where this player is. There's 10 seconds remaining on the round, and a little bit of noise. May have just given it away. Unfortunately, an impossible play call for Selium to make as close as it could be. A hell of a try, but the meta online to on land, it is just simply different. And there's a lot more ice on stage than in the crowd, but hey, LA Thieves will take it tied up 2 2. The equalizer here. Selium did everything he possibly could. Sim yet to get on the board. 7 and 3 for a BC. First place would be great. Draza now forward he goes. Concussion won't land. They're looking for the nades though. I mean, that was four players stacked up for Atlanta, but wherever the nades fell, they came up short. All eight players alive. And I mean, again, you already see the stack from LA Thieves over towards P5. That has been where they have put on the pressure. That is where Atlanta are leaning once again. Sim in and out. Tagged up. Runs for it. Heads up play. As the Thieves, they are stacking up towards B together. The two towards A, they're going to be relatively safe for a moment. Octane might spot a whole lot here, crossing through mid. If you don't catch the angle, they can run directly underneath. This is what the Timing. move they like Timing. to make. They back the man out of top, and RCD's a BZ. That's where they pounce. They're inside. They're not going to make the play. Kenny's now from up top. He might be able to catch something. There's a stun. That's huge now. A BZ waiting, patient. This is huge for FaZe. Have they snuck through again? They have! Draws out! Beans! Absolutely annihilated. 3v3.
You have a battle going over towards the P5 side of the map as well. The bombs get planted. Octane, maybe the first one to jump on it, but they try to hit through mid, and Envoy catches them. That's the man advantage. Man up. Envoy, check this. Oh! Jesus! Oh, he's now. 1v3, can he do anything here in the round? I'm not sure if he's got a chance. He's got to push out to get towards the bomb, but he can't! I cannot believe it. Selim was the insurance plan. Selim was the man who had to check the bomb from that angle. And Envoy absolutely destroyed him. And if you clip that market for explicit content, that oh. is unreal. Nah. That is pure gunny, pure reaction time, and a hell of a clutch. I mean, just dropping them. One round advantage for LA, three more to go. What is boys the round right there? Oh, this is Nate time, by the way. Or this is just run straight through They're the in. middle of the map. They have They're opened in. up on boy flanking. He's in already. Uh, oh, this is wild. He's in. He's going to plant this bad boy and he's going to hit the afterburners right in the sim. sim what's he going to do here? You see the bomb go down. This is awkward. A BZ though. Wait, it's turned on its head. Plot twist. Sim's got in him. Last man there, Octane, Sim. He's taking a hit or two. Pressure is on, Octane trying to stay alive. 30 seconds to take him down. An ambitious round from the LA Thieves, but Atlanta Faze that, that equalized. Is a, it's a moment where you have so many guns up towards the middle of the map. I don't think they threw any stuns over the field side of the map, so they had zero intel. I think if a single stun connects, Envoy at least throws a shoulder, goes for the peeker, tries to flank, but... Just a hard counter strat coming through, and Atlanta, again, will absolutely take it. They get the bounce back. Simp gets off the donut. And just trying to keep things close. Yeah, I mean, Simp goes from a donut to two kills on the round. Massive win against Kenny. 3-3. Three, three. Phase on offense. Everybody up through the middle of the map as well. A couple shoulders being thrown. Maids out. They're doing the same thing once again, and... You already know Envoy's found himself a corner. Nothing connects, but Atlanta, I'm assuredly uh -oh. will make this read. Here we go. He's going to creep his way he, forward. Will Sim read this? He ain't going to check nothing. Is this happening? He's so close. He can smell him. He can smell him. Trades out. Here comes Drazen. Woo, baby. That was close enough. 3v2. Abizi, though, might have found it. He's got the angle to get through. Abizi going on the flank. It's him versus Drazen. Abizi able to find the kill to even the odds, and he can go and collect that bomb. Two versus two. Octane and Kenny. Oh, Selim and Abizi. I think he saw him. I think Selim has been fired. I cannot confirm it. Oh, hello. Kenny the hitman flies on through, takes care of business. Now Abizi 1v2, 1v1. Octane last man up. 30 seconds. Abizi has 11 kills on a four spree. A man on a mission dropped a 40 bomb on the Berlin. And time is ticking. There's the bomb. Has to recover it, and here he goes. Bomb secured. Fast moves now. And Octane, he might be peeking it. He's not seen a single thing just yet. So, oh my word, the timing has just worked out. Incredible. And Incredible he, from Abizi. He thought he was playing for the kill. So Octane has to approach this situation with zero intel. He will just be there too late. And Abizi's got that MP40. Now he goes now. Octane from up high. High ground indeed. And timing once again has gone against him. Unbelievable. This is sensational stuff. And now for the immediate defuse. This is tremendous. And I hope it's zero not happening. Ice. No ice whatsoever. This crowd has zero ice. I think we're now 1-1. One, one. And I think we will now ask the crowd in these tense moments it when the fuse is coming so through to obvious. please remain quiet. The players can hear you. Shut up. They well, do not need nor want your help. 12 kills for Abizi, though. And now the round advantage for Atlanta. I mean, it's even. One round each. No, I mean, the crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the action game. <laughs> And there's a hard hit over towards A. So funnily enough, where Atlanta Faze on defense last round, like almost triple or four stack the outer A. I think D is we're looking to square up, but nobody's home. No nades connect. Middle of the map control dominated by Atlanta. And Kenny gets caught. The terrors were there. Five spree for a beat. And they are running together. This is Faze. This is what they do. Envoy, gotta go big. Perfect. Larue with a snipe. A silver bullet for these monsters. Will he be able to land anything? 
I mean, if you're Atlanta, you know that's Envoy. That is likely to be your bomb carrier. So maybe just grew up together and make plays and move the map. This is what they were doing at the start of this game. No mistakes. They are ready for these trades. They just still rolling together. Draza can catch one. All good. He'll never get two at the same time. Surely not. Sim. Spotted. Oh. The fight's not done yet, but here come FaZe. All four of them at full strength. Crushes Octane. Draza manages to get one. But we're making the play. That is the round. Atlanta FaZe. The bounce back is on. Streaks required. Map point. And Ibizi got shut down by LA last time they played this map. Talk about a man making adjustments. Glide bomb secured, 14 and four. I mean, this is two back-to-back -back maps where he has taken over. That is coordination between the tears for the trades. The chow's on point, and hey, you got a glide bomb one round away from shutting this game down. And if you get if you get P5 control, you just use it straight away. <laughs> and that's what we're going for. Kenny, here we go. Has he been spotted? No. There's the bullets, though. And it is a storm of gunfire. Envoy on the outside, though. Will we call the streaks in now? Because you managed to move the thieves all about. Cold-blooded will protect their presence from that glide bomb. This could be it. Here we go. Everybody has cold-blooded. How good is his vision? Draws are going to survive. No connection. And draws are making moves. Draws are making moves. In the meantime, knows he's going to be invisible. Gets the first blood. Gets out. Basically a UAV that didn't work there. Here comes Draza once again. A shoulder thrown! Coverage. Draza does drop. 3v2. That is beautiful help. Seldo finds a pick in the meantime. Kenny gets caught. And we've seen Selium in this spot. He has dealt with players all over the map. And he's got Sim clearing out the map for him. I mean, Octane's in the middle of potentially getting flanked. Whoa. Shots running out. The flank is in. Wait. There's the kill. Not over yet. The man on the flank, it's going to be Envoy. Will he time this well? Will he time this great? It's now a 1v1. It's Envoy versus Sim. As once again, they're going to run around one another looking for this. And I think Sim, he is picking up pace. He's hitting speed. 1v1! Envoy does it again. That's the defuse. Thieves stay alive. And that internal clock is ticking. Gets to the bomb as soon as it gets planted. Knows he didn't go church alley. Checks the bottom corners. See, he didn't go deep. The only option, he has to be plat side of the map. The timing is perfect. The slide on point. Whew. Look at that. It doesn't get better than that. 28 HP. He was a dead man. Envoy, no stranger to an incredibly tense 1v1. And there's another one to put on the highlight reel. And look at this. They've shown a, a couple different looks on the attack right now. RC's the lone man defending the P5 push through. No connection on any of these stuns. Octane also by himself over towards A. So the main ARs. Maybe with a little bit of pressure, but no commitment from either team just yet. So just waiting for a pick, waiting for an opening kill. And BZ, this angle, he's not going to be easily seen, but he can get picked apart from other positions. That opening fire, yeah, got to get out. Even if it was only a tiny bit of damage. You know the thieves are going to pounce. And it is still a stale, mate. They're making moves, though. Envoy does get spotted, so he's going to be doubling back and forth. Octane by himself, oh my dealing God. with two, and he takes them down. The trades are in. And around 11 on the horizon, but Arsenis has two 1v3s under his belt. No oh mistakes made. Throw those stakes. Get to this round 11. This is it. This for is the it. Ring. One more round for the ring. Face to stay alive. Here we go. Final round. The game in center round. is on its feet. The nerves are there. The tension is in the air. This is it. LA Thieves on offense. Atlanta phase defended. And what is the play call going to be? You got it. Phase again on the stack on defense. They're looking to be aggressive. On boy. Straight through mid. Straight through mid. Once again. No one's seen just yet. Here comes the flank. Draws have spotted it. They've double backed. Is it a perfect read? Or will Abizi find that first blood? Here comes the fight. And it may well be Chris Lair. He's picked the nade spot towards the back line. No nades connect on either side. 
All that utility burned for nothing. No map control right now on the attack. They're going through P5, and it's Selim in a deep corner of the map. Thieves are committing. They're going all in. They're going to fly through that doorway. Selim, he is not going to move. He may stay here for as long as it takes, but he could win his team the map. Here comes the plot. Giving up for free, and you're setting up the pinch. You already know what it's going to be. LA Thieves are going to read it. You got to win the gunfights. So 4v4, here comes the fight. Sellers the first man in. Trades on behind. Octane wins it. One more man on the flank trying to keep the play going. Shots are there. There is gunfire rattling out all across Tuscan on boy. He's in. He wins it. There's only one man left, and it's done. It's over. Daylight robbery. There are no witnesses, no survivors. The LA Thieves have done it. They have run it up. They are your CDL champions. For the first time in their careers, world champions. Four rings for those players. I cannot believe it. Against all odds, no one saw this coming. They peaked at the end of the season. They go back to back. That is an unbelievable run. And they did it in dominant fashion for a game that has brought us the closest competition we have ever seen in Call of Duty. Back to back, 5-2 victory. They kept it clean, mistake free. And the turnaround these guys had. Stuck together, brand new world champions. From a home crowd here in the Galen Center. A place that has been so kind to the Atlanta phase, but commiserations for them, it is another second place. The nightmare season continues. So the LA Thieves, the whole team, everyone's on stage. They're all there, soaking in the moment. They fought so hard to get here. The entire coaching staff, Shane, last minute edition, you name it, they turn it around. Your 2022 champions, the Los Angeles Thieves. Think about the plays they had to make to get there. Down 5-3, dealing with kill streaks. Envoy brought the strap, started gunning players down, reading the cheeky corners, and perfection in round 11. And I gotta say, Miles, when I saw Kenny walk out with that bandana, I have never been more confident in a team. Shane, the first European coach, I think of the ring. First for all of them there on the stage. Of course, Coach Jake has been here a few times, but man, you cannot even imagine what it must feel like. After the heartache they have endured, after the criticism they have endured throughout the entire season. To close it out like this, against a team like FaZe, and it's just, it's poetry in motion. It's pure elation for the LA Thieves, for the band, for the organization. It could not have been any better for them, Charles. The accolade is nice. The rings are nice. The money, all of it, wonderful. And I know for those guys, they're happy they did it as a team. They did it together. Thing they could have wanted. It wasn't a team of individuals. It wasn't this superstar lineup. It was a collective squad. The teamwork in the end, just sensational. Just unbelievable. And look at that. What a moment. Guy Blaze, take it away. Thank you so much, Miles. Los Angeles, one more. as he gives out the trophy. Daniel, what you want to say to these guys? LA, I'm thinking thieves! Thank you everyone for joining us here in this arena. And to everyone tuning in from home, we appreciate it. 
as you help us put a close to this historic 2022 season. I want to give a quick shout out to Atlanta Fays. They had an excellent season and deserve to be commended. But the winners, that's these hometown heroes. LA, this trophy is staying here. I want to thank and congratulate the LA Thieves organization. I got to start off with Nate Shot. I wish I could bottle up how I'm sure you're feeling right now. Congrats, Matt. Nate shot, Nate shot, Nate shot. Thank you, John Robinson. Courage, that was an amazing intro earlier. I want to shout out the GMs and coaches, Mud Dog, J Cat, Shane. Amazing job leading these men into battle. And to these four players that shouldered so much this year, Octane, Kenny, Envoy, Draza, without a shadow of a doubt, they showed that they're the best team in Call of Duty. And so there's only one left, one more thing to do. I'm proud to announce that the 2022 Call of Duty League champions are the LA Thieves. Yeah! All right, let's come in here, let's talk to the squad. You know, uh, when it comes down to a Draza, come on down for me, man. Draza, come on down. Let me talk to you, because I know you're feeling good. Coming out with your first ring, tell me, what does this mean for you? It's, it's unbelievable. I don't even know what to say, but uh, back to fucking back. Come on. The best in the fucking world. King of fucking LA. Let's go. And I'm going to move down the line and get between everybody. Envoy, you had a fantastic series right there. You come out with your first ring. How you feeling? I'm feeling on top of the world, bro. I feel like I haven't had the best champs runs, and I finally did it, man. It's great that we can be here in LA uh, in front of a home crowd. And yeah, I'm too icy. <laughs> too icy, he says. Now, speaking of a man who was hot like fire, give it up for Kenny, everybody. Kylo Ken, what an entrance here on the stage. And you absolutely slayed out with your entire Call of Duty career. How you feeling right now? Feeling great. Uh, got back to back seconds, so this one just couldn't have happened, but gotta appreciate my teammates because they just hard carried the fuck out of me. <laughs> You know, when it comes down to, you know, one of your longest standing teammates over here, Octane, a man of few words, but I know this means a lot for you. I finally won this fucking tournament. <laughs> there you go. Now, let's talk to the coaches here. You know, Mud Dog, you know, when it comes down to the squad and this team, you know, you know, how does it feel to be up here? I mean, it's awesome. These guys are some of my best friends. Like, I love that we've done this. And I just want to thank Nate, John Robinson, my boss, Jacob, for believing in this team. We've been through some of the lowest of lows, and now we're finally at the highest of highs. So I couldn't be more proud of the squad, and I'm so damn happy, man. All right, yo, now, yeah, no, no, come on, Nate. Come on, come on in. You know I got you. Yes, you can. All right, listen, 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 listen. Everybody, I appreciate the support here. Normally, I take the route of humility. At least I try to. But for everybody that doubted Eric, Mud Dog, J Cap, Draza, Envoy, Kenny, Octane, 90% of y'all told us to drop every single one of them. You called us a friendship org. You said that we were keeping the wrong people around. When you believe in people, you gotta trust them, give them time, and that's exactly what they did. So, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but you need to give them their flowers because they deserve it. These guys got more criticism than I've ever seen in competitive Call of Duty history, and they just went back to back and won a world championship. So, I wanna say thank you for everybody that showed out. This is the first time I've ever seen a crowd that was louder than the Optic fan base. We love those guys, but this moment's about LA Thieves. It's about all the employees here, all the creators, and most importantly, the entire coaching staff and players. Thank you, guys. All right, all right, all right. Now, we still got some more business to get to, and I'm gonna bring back Daniel out to help me give the MVP award away. Is there any doubt who this one's going to? This is going to a vet that's been leading from the front. He had a position change mid-season, has been frying ever since. This postseason MVP is going to Kenny. Kenny, you look speechless. How you feel, my guy? Back to back fucking MVPs? What? I do this shit. I'm him.
my word, what a run this was for the LA Thieves. Just pure elation on everybody's face. And you can just feel it. You can feel what it means to them to walk away with this. And a tough season from the beginning. You heard Nate Shot say it. They were getting criticized everywhere on all social platforms, saying they needed to make a change. They stick with this roster. They switch Kenny's position. Back-to-back -back MVPs with four wins against FaZe across these last two events, solidifying that they are the best team in Vanguard, making a somewhat inconsistent year extremely consistent in a 5-2 victory. An impressive performance, Jack. Congratulations to LAT. They just came out and played almost flawless Call of Duty. They almost had the 5-0. They let Atlanta face take two <laughs> matches, right. but you right. close it out when you need to the most in a 5-2. And I don't know what about you guys, but ever since Major 4, watching them play their very first match, how consistent they were as a team, it looks like they figured out the game to the best of their ability. They, no one else was on their level at that tournament. They continued that on at champs, and now they're world champions. Finally, two of the best players to ever play Call of Duty, Kenny and our team, get a ring. I mean, to sum up, Nate Shot's incredible speech, yeah. take what's not given. That is what LA Thieves did this entire season. I was a big critic of them. Everybody was a big critic of them. They had so many struggles sticking with this squad. Not a single roster change, not even a sub in. One of the only teams in the league to never have a swap out, and they go back to back and they pull out the best of nine series against none other than the Atlanta phase. Incredible job from the LA Thieves. Just sensational work. I mean, I've just added this team to be able to stick together. We've talked about so, how, so often about how there could be a move. You know, we, we entered into multiple different qualifiers talking on if a change could happen with this roster. But as you said, Ali, they stuck it out. One of the only teams to be able to do it this year. Perfect attendance coming into champs. And now they hold the trophy. Yeah. And what else is special is they made some other changes, moving Kenny to an SMG, but also bringing in Shane, giving the team yeah. more tools to get better. What happened? You bring in Shane, you give Jacob that assistance, they learn how to play Search and Destroy. Yep. That was the biggest difference in this team. Aside from the respawn dominance out of Kenny, it was that Search and Destroy, which showed up in a big way at Major Foreign Champs. And I have to do it. I have to make the note, Optic Drop Crim. Krim goes on to win champs. Optic drops Arcides. He goes on to win champs. They dropped the Dark Prince. They dropped Envoy. And now he is back to back the Vanguard 22 2022 champion. And then also with Octane, the storyline. It went from Octane, get him some help, to Octane needs to help, to back to back <laughs> champion and a ring. Impressive. And imagine if you're Kenny right now, back to back MVPs. He is him, man. <laughs> Ever since he got comfortable in that MP40 you could just see the things that he was able to do for this roster. Envoy, he's the guy that's going to be the playmaker. But when you're allowing your Slayer SMG to always be right next to you, always getting the trades, that is when LADs are playing at the best. Straza's always wanted to run an AR. He right. got the chance to do that. Octane as the main AR, always going to play so damn consistent. But these guys, they just perfected the game when they needed to the most. And now they end the year as the best team in Vanguard. And it just felt like it all started to come together. You know, we saw shades of it happen throughout the qualifiers especially, obviously, the Major Four qualifiers, what they were able to do. Jay, you talked about it so often. They were playing some of the best COD, yes. even in Search and Destroy, that we've seen all season. And it's wild because, like we said, going up against the Atlanta phase, the first match of their qualifier run, they got 6 0 in both of both those S&Ds. It is wild the turnaround that this team has managed to do. And what they also invested in trying to be as complete as possible. Absolutely. I mean, you saw the switch around they had in Search and Destroy, the adjustments that they were making even throughout that series on that Tuscan, some of the moves that they were hitting, getting mid-map control, taking it away from the Atlanta phase, hitting those gaps. Like, it was beautifully played out of the LA Thieves. The hunger was there, the desire to win, and they put in the work. Where other teams, they made changes and they folded. LA Thieves hold strong. And even though it was S&D that closed out this best of nine in that round 11, it was really the respawns from the Los Angeles Thieves. I mean, even at the beginning of the season, they were a disgusting hard point team. And near the middle of the season, it dropped off just a bit. And then they pick it back up here, heading into champs. And to get a little bit more into the nitty gritty, I think the biggest difference for me to set them apart, not only from the beginning of their hard point season, the beginning of their respawn season into now, is that their communication and the way that yeah, they play the beautiful. map. Obviously, you always want to have knowledge of spawns, but I think LATs took it a level 
further. They took it to where there are pressure points on the map. You could literally see it at all times. They were communicating and not listening where they were and exactly where the enemy and where they're putting pressure and where they should be spawning up on the map. And that is when LAZ would take a run, when they would take that perfect hill and create that gap, even when they were a step behind in the early starts of those respawns. And I think that's really what separated LA Thieves from the rest of the competition. And they also made this COD feel like a traditional COD towards the end. It was a different viewing experience. Every, yeah. every time you saw this team get into a setup, it was the mini-map awareness, filling in the gaps, pushing up, adding those layers. We haven't seen teams be aware of spawns and play off of it like the LA Thieves. And that's what they were doing in Hardpoint. It was such a different viewing experience watching these guys play than every other team. You saw they'd go up against a team like Atlanta FaZe. Atlanta FaZe absolutely has the talent to mirror the yes. LA Thieves, but it's the system and the structure, which is why they got four consecutive wins against them. And talking about Atlanta FaZe, I just want to take the time out to give them their flowers. Absolutely. Like, it's yeah. so difficult to play all year long and not get a win, but be very consistent to where you're making multiple grand finals for every single mate that you were at, besides one at that New York event. Just the only things that really just take them down is the search and destroys. When you think about Major 1, they could not beat Optic on search and destroy or control. Yeah. Then you go to Major 2, search and destroy wasn't the best. They go to, to Major 3 versus Seattle, they're winning their search and destroys, but still the control wasn't there. And when you allow LA Thieves to come in off that winner's bracket side, you saw the way that they were able to control the maps. Gavutu, Berlin, Gavutu, and then the Tuscan. Like, you go up 4-0 nice and easy. All you need is one map left if you're LA Thieves, and they make that one look easy. But Atlanta face. Got to come back next year a little stronger. Try to play for number one. Yeah, Absolutely. commiserations to Atlanta FaZe. A phenomenal season, but just come up short once again. But we got to talk about our MVP. He <laughs> is that guy. Kylo Ken comes away with back-to-back -back championships. He gets his first ring, and on top of it, he also has the lightsaber of all things. Incredible stuff, man, from this guy. We talked about how the LA Thieves were the most criticized organization, most criticized roster this year. Yeah. And Ant, he was the guy in the forefront of all of that hate. Everybody was saying drop Kenny. Yeah. The team believed in him, though, man. I mean, coming into this series, he had a 1.18 and, you know, across major foreign champs, the guy was literally number seven in damage per life. Everybody else above him, Lando, all ARs. That's a testament to what he was able to do with the SMG, the playmaking ability, the swag that he has on the map, the guy was going off deserving of the back-to-back -back MVPs. You heard the confidence on stage. And I'm just so happy to see Kenny in this position because if you remember the interview that he had at Major 4, he said, obviously, there was a lot of noise about our team. People wanted us to make a, sweat, a swap, but then he knew the only thing before making an actual change, we were going to try this role change, and thankfully they did that because ever since that happens, they turned into a championship contender and eventually close out the year as the champions. All smiles across the LA Thieves as they'll be taking photos like that throughout the rest of the night. A sensational run as they will go back to back. So many shades of Black Ops 4 champs as well. They faced off against Simpabizi and Arsties. They went back to back. You got Octane and Kenny under this banner again, but they come out on top and are going to be our champions. Incredible stuff. But one thing that we also want to touch on is that throughout this event, we also had challengers champs going on as well for our Aim Lab scouting report. Ali, talk to us a little bit, right? <laughs> Iron Blood, come out. Actually, yeah, it was actually a surprising turn of events. Mohawk got some revenge on yeah. Toronto Academy NA. We all, that took us all from left field. We were so surprised when he ended up getting dropped. He gets picked up in the Iron Blood gaming with the roster of Exceed, Mohawk, Classic, and oh my goodness. Rack. Brack. There Thank it is. You. Good old Brack. <laughs> it's been a lot of COD. <laughs> but I will say this, it good. was in two best of fives. It came from the loser's bracket side of things. And honestly, it was a lot from Exceed. I think it really started against Team War yeah. in that Bo Cage hard point when it was actually on the main stage when we were able to take a look in. They were actually on the back foot for a majority of that, but it was Exceed that was continuously keeping them into the line. And the final hard point, obviously, as you can see, it came so close down to the wire. Only a two point game, but they completed it. You can see all across the board. I was actually surprised Mohawk wasn't the one freaking out or talking any crap. He was just like, oh, perfect sense, another right? day. But he went back to back, actually, as a challenger's champ. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Nothing but congratulations to those guys. You got some vets on that roster. I mean, a lot of players that we're familiar with as well. And now, guys, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it, the man. It's done. The Vanguard season has officially come to a close. We've seen our final Bocage Hardpoint. We've seen our last Kavutu control. But now it's time to talk about some final thoughts, man. Round out this season, 
Talk about some of our favorite moments from this year. Ant, we'll start with you. I buddy. think the New York Cinderella story was my favorite Amazing. moment. I mean, aside from the yeah. turnaround from LA Thieves, like that story was just so crazy. Like it was so impossible. You get big moments out of Kismet, the Crim Six and New York walkouts, like added a lot of personality back into the CDL. And it was just beautiful to see a team set their mind towards a goal like that and accomplish it. Because I personally didn't believe in it. I thought it was going to be impossible. Just some crazy moments all season long. Indeed. Allie, any final thoughts for you? I have to be careful. I'm like about to cry here. Oh, my final Allie. Was, I mean, it was my first year on the desk. I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be on the desk here with you guys. So it's been incredible. Everybody across the board, shout out to Esports Engine, shout out to Activision, you guys, Vanguard, coaches, players, everyone for being so welcoming and kind to me. And it was one hell of a year, to be honest. Get Allie, Allie, you killed you're it. amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. Jay? Oh, man. What a run, buddy. It's hard. It's hard to put it all into words because yeah. this year was just insane. We had multiple different winners, but finally someone was able to chain it back to back and close it out as the world champions. I'm starting to get a little emotional, too. <laughs> it was a very intense season from start to finish. Nothing but great moments. Obviously, me casting in New York, that was like a dream. But Yeah, buddy. I love you, man. I, I love, love you, guys. Too. Oh, my goodness. We're getting some tears. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. Now, one thing that we want to do before we do close out uh, for the final time here on the desk is we want to take a look at our aim lab best shots here of the week some incredible really incredible plays throughout the weekend but we want to take and highlight these ones in specific we're taking a look at the human turn i got it in on championship <laughs> sunday i had to get my chance but guys he has been a beast with the sniper all season long what do you know letting snipers be allowed was a good idea and uh let's talk about sid for a second too the guy was beaming i mean he had a crazy sniper here that's the one i was talking about up Sheesh. close to the readjustment all year long, man, I felt like the sniper just had a, such a huge impact. It did indeed. You see some shots covered in from Tej. We can't forget about Paul X, Y, and Z. You love the plays coming in from this guy as well. From afar or up close, we've got old talent, we've got young talent. Everybody can do it with the snipe. And of course, you can't forget about Trey Boy Cardi, Jay. That guy is a man on a mission with the sniper, hitting jump Ooh spikes. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, Zero, he's the guy, the veteran leader for this Royal Ravens team. He did have some great shots, but you know, whenever I watch a sniper, whenever I watch someone with the boom boom <laughs> stick in hand, it gets me riled up, man, because that used to be what I do, but a lot of these guys do it a lot better than me now. <laughs> Nah, well, give yourself some credit. You're yeah, pretty yeah. filthy with the I was pretty though. good. Yeah. These guys are kind of diffy. Mr. 1.6, 1.6. No, that's, 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 that's a little bit of an inside <laughs> joke, but, uh, you know, you get it there. But, no, as you guys can see, you can fine-tune your game with some pro player settings. You can see the website below. I know the game's changing up a little bit, but, hey, it's always good to check out exactly how all of our players are rocking. Now, one thing that we also want to do is shout out the Hot Hands oh, Lounge, yeah. our Observer team. We love yeah. these guys. And take a look at their final reaction to some of the gameplay that was going on today they were hard at work dude if the fans think the players are cracked these guys are <laughs> yeah, wasted. Wasted. You, see the, wasted, you see the 3p shots coming in these guys are nasty. oh look at this look at the gang <laughs> look at the gang we got here? the gang what up, up guys? here guys, welcome welcome yeah baby this is amazing this is amazing this is the best way that we could possibly <laughs> close out this season Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been incredible all season long. We absolutely love you. We hope that you guys have enjoyed all the broadcasts throughout this season. Vanguard has been a blast, but that is going to do it <laughs> from all of us, from the entire production team, from the entire crew, on behalf of all of us here on the talent team. We wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful day. And congratulations to the LA Thieves on becoming the 2022 Call of Duty champions. We'll see you next season. Woo!
Oh my god! 